Are uh, you guys uh, are you guys vaccinated? Yeah. No. But, HIPAA. HIPAA. I am not. <laughs> we got no, recording. <laughs> <laughs> that would have derailed the whole podcast. I mean, well, okay. Well, just, why don't we just start? Take why don't we it start? easy. Take I'm not putting that poison in my body. <laughs> um, I've been doing ready? a lot of research. Fucking Lamar Jackson on the mic, dude. <laughs> All right. Can we do it? Yeah. Dude, that, keep that in. Yeah. Well, just well, can we get to the damn runner show? All right. Let's do the damn runner show. Okay. Cold opening. <laughs> Live from... New York. P three three. Oh wait. We, <laughs> no, I don't know what the address is. Right. No, when you, you know will stalkers we have on the street here. Yeah. 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 What's the worst thing anyone's like done to you? No, <laughs> injected you with nothing. You, you've been injected with the vaccine. Assaulted. Yeah, right. They they stuck me with a needle. They're like, "There's the Pfizer. Come back. I'll be. I'll see you in two weeks." There's the Pfizer. The I'll get you with the booster in two weeks. I got weeks. this under a bridge. <laughs> this is Jonah Hill, and you're listening to the only podcast that matters. We're just some jocks podding on 7th <laughs> Avenue. Oh, oh no. my God, that's why you listen. Oh, Bro gang, no. we are joined by Large Catherine, the fucking huge feline, gargantuan pussy, El Jumbo Gato. He puts the cutie in executive producer, titan of the takes, the froth pharaoh, the donuts make my guy go nuts, the wizard of the Wisco tech, like a pizza filled turd, he is Dave Portnoy's number two, king of coffee, hey Joe Buck big head, he's got nationwide 5G coverage, gambling, gabagool, glazed donuts, grande coffee, and girl dad, please welcome. Welcome, Barstool Sports' is big cat. Um, that was incredible. You're Thank welcome. You. Uh, I forgot that I'm executive producer. So yes. when do I get my cut well, of the Patreon? Uh, well, you're well, you're failing upwards. Yeah. Well, the previous podcast endeavor that shall not be named. Everything Got that you EP has failed. The yeah. van, the van show. Yeah. Where were upwards. you when we needed you most, motherfucker? I, so I might then put out if I was if I'm still the EP of failing upwards. I think I'm going to put out some failing upwards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go crazy, dude. That's all yours. I'm thinking maybe basketball shorts. Ooh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Are you just going to what? what <laughs> what insane are you going to do? Uh, ooh, this is a tough question. Six? Mm-hmm. Eight? Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. no, you're going in the wrong direction. <laughs> South, <laughs> South, warmer. I'm like, damn, 14? This yeah. guy doesn't know shit about in scenes. Get Adam Sandler to model them. I damn. got some big bones to pick with you guys. Oh, right. word? Yes. So you're going to interview you want us. You to go first with just one thing? Let's start. Let's reverse <laughs> the run a bar show. For bar? Yeah, well, I just want to start with one thing and then you guys can get into it. Yeah, let's it. reverse sure. the run a show and do constructive criticism at the top. Yeah, it's fucked up <laughs> that you guys decided yeah. that you're just decided not much. wearing sneakers anymore. Oh, no, that's not. That's not I mean, what it is. no, it's you can't do that to guys like me. It's a sliding I'm a scale. That's dog. not what it is. No, no, no you six year old father of two. <laughs> I girl don't dad. know what fashion is. We bought your son I, Jordans. I we own, still like sneakers. That's true. Yes. I own sneakers. Did you post your son's Jordans on social media? Yes or no? I think you guys close bought, friends. I think you guys also bought like like size like 10 times. <laughs> So he'll wear them in like, oh, 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 oh right. not like a men's size 10. No, no, no. You guys, you were one of, I had a few people who Cop clearly Jordans? don't have a lot of friends who have kids yet, or, you know, this was two years ago. You guys, I think, bought them. They were way too big. And then Hank bought me a pack of diapers <laughs> for like a two year old when my son was born. I was like, oh, I can't use this for a while. Right. Thank sure. You. Yeah, yeah. We'll put those in fucking storage. Yeah. yeah. Put them on ice. Them out yes. later. The thing about sneakers. Yes, you can absolutely wear sneakers. Our thing is that. It's about like thirsting after the super overhyped ones yeah. and then paying like 3X, 4X what you know you should pay for. Yeah. You don't want to be slaves to the sneaker hype machine. Okay, I think I'm actually, I'm unchanged from that. I was for a while. <laughs> Congrats. I, think, I think the sneakers app has just ruined the experience. Bro, oh, why yeah, do you even, yeah. why do you bother? I, I actually, no joke, last night, randomly went on it for the first time in like five months. Did you win and anything? I, no, but I realized, I was like, <laughs> Did you win I, used to go, I used to go on it all the time and they just beat it out of you. Like, yeah. it's not fun. So yeah. why yeah. would you go to a It's a app? toxic relationship. Yeah, that you just keep getting L's. Yeah. So I'm done with that. It's like You're the right. Barstool Gold yeah. app, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Good. Uh, uh, just good just a mobile L machine. Yeah. Right. Um, speaking of all things footwear, let's do a fit check, Dan. Yeah. Uh, you're going to start bottom up, I would imagine. Okay, yes, yes. Not right. a that's a free got- one. I got these sneakers that are uh, looking a little dirty, but that's okay because I wear my sneakers. Wear your sneakers. Wear your fucking uh, kids. Dan Katz. These are the Jordan MA2s, which I actually, I have yeah. them in like every uh, colorway because yeah. they're some of the most comfortable sneakers. It's a high own. school girls basketball team shoe. That's okay. That yeah. doesn't you, that doesn't hurt me. <laughs> that's a phase. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we, we, we can get into fatherhood, but th- 
like the one thing that you can never do to a dad is like make fun of his clothes because he'd be like, okay, I don't, I got, you got dad sweat. Dad I got dressed today. Yeah. Uh, I'm wearing Muggsy <laughs> jeans. Right. Album. Yo, how's, uh, <laughs> support the, how's my guy, Mr. Bogues doing? Yeah. Who? Muggsy Bogues. 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 You're wearing oh, his yeah, jeans. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah that was How, how's joke. the butt? Yeah. Stretch. One of our, one of our world famous guys, bits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. We got two more hours of this. Yeah. Right. yeah. Muggsy jeans. Uh, what socks? You skipped over the socks. Oh, are they uh, matching or? Yeah, they're matching. What are these? I don't know. What, Champion. What model of Muggsy jeans are we yeah, going what's with? The, what's uh, the Dan Katz Pro what model? Say on the bottom. Does it say? Uh, Hanes. 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 Those are Hanes. Hanes extreme. It's a collaboration. Hanes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I did a total sock overhaul a oh, month ago. So congratulations. Hey, the the You guys probably won't like this, but my theory is. You you know how you always lose socks? You guys have all types of different colors and shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a lot of White, fun, black. Lot of fun <laughs> socks. I throw all my socks out and then I buy the same it's rich pair. guy shit. No, I, th- I buy the same pair, like 60 of them. So that way I yeah. can never be losing one sock. Gotcha. That's gotcha, so it's gotcha. just always. It's it, a whole kind of rotation where, yes. you, know, you know, next man up. Right. That's a, exactly. That's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's a very pro move. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, Proud of you. Muggsy jeans. Mm-hmm. Muggsy actually do make great jeans. Do you get a cut of every because of you guys? Every have single a, jean. Every is single there a, is there a big cat cut? Uh, what would that look like? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Every single jean. Yeah. Every single jean. Just really in the ass. You guys. I mean, you probably would never wear Muggsy jeans, but I'm going to shout out Muggsy jeans. We pretended to for like three years, though. They're comfortable. They are the perfect gene for uh guys in my spot where i don't want to look like a slob (laughs) right but i also am not like a fashion guy like you guys of course so i'm not gonna wear skinny (laughs) you don't want to buy your jeans at the airport like your boss (laughs) like they pour at the the all saints at laguardia (laughs) scotch and soda jfk how much dave roast do you have in this uh Uh, we're done quite a bit behind the paywall (laughs) quite a bit behind the paywall (laughs) yeah Um, yeah wait what's your promo code if in case anyone wants uh, to put money in mt I brought a couple ads to this. How do you spell oh, that? How do you spell that? We'll get to it. Uh, <laughs> PMT. Got it. All right. Yes. Okay. Roger um, that. I'm wearing <laughs> Fieri. Fieri. Oh, uh, Fieri. Fieri Ohm. To be clear, <laughs> this is a. Well, I guess people will see a picture because we're going to take a flick together. But this is a jump man, yeah, but Fieri. Fieri with a spatula. Yep. Fieri Ohm Plus. Yeah, Ohm Plus. It's given for free. <laughs> nice. Part of my pile. Right. I don't know what that means, so I'm just going to pass over it. Men, men Plus. Yeah. Men Plus. Yeah. So is that men be- premium? Oh, men premium. Yeah, yeah. Not, like plus, size not like plus size. No, 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 no. no, no, no. We, we don't tall. body shame. I've never gone to the big and tall store. Really? No. Because you're quite a big and tall man. Well, not that quite. Hurt, that that response hurt my feelings. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I got a, I got a chain. It's the uh, scene oh, of gambling gods. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, How's that working know. out for Saint you? Saint Gabagool? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know. So, Saint Polly Walnuts? <laughs> Saint Stu Finer. Um, and is, then, it, is it working out for you? Is it protecting you from L's? I, ha- I actually had a little bit of a hot streak when I started wearing it, so I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep rolling with it. Right, sure, 100%. And when football season starts, Respect. and then I got an Apple Watch. Nice. So, How many steps you got today? Yeah. Oh, what are we at? We are at 3,800. That's pretty good. Really? Or, is that good? I don't know. I have no, I have no idea. 10,000 is what you need. Right. Okay. That's Are you, the, do you allegedly. hit 10,000 regularly? Try to. Yeah. I don't go to the gym. I'm like an old Florida retiree where it's like, just got to get my steps in. Right. 100%. Yeah. Respect. I mean, it's you like, want to fucking see your kids grow up. You got to get those steps in. Yeah. Got to get the steps in. Have 100%. you played catch with your son yet? <laughs> uh, he's a lefty, which is a problem. <laughs> really? Yeah. Can you correct that? I don't know. Is that like I, the, I've, I mean, I've tied his hand his right, right, last right. month. I've abused <laughs> him. I don't him. know if it works. You're going to be a switch hitter, son. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have the results haven't come in yet. And lest we forget the panties. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, me undies. Mm. Yeah. You got a promo code, code for that take, too? I think promo code take. Take? <laughs> take. How do you spell yeah, that? T-A-K-E. All right, cool. Nice. All right. Code take. Nailed that. Look at that. We're putting money right. in your pocket, dude. Yeah, there it is. Cat. We kind of talked about this already. I don't know if it was off mic or if we're going to include in the cold open, but um, you produce content around here. And like Lawrence and I were saying, it's our triumphant return or, or yeah. kind of like hush, hush return to Barstool Sports. Yes. Dave who and says Erica. you can't go home? I think, well, Bon Jovi is who says that. But rhetorically speaking, who, who says, says you can't, can't go, go home? home? Yeah, right. It's it's the return. You guys are back. The return, return of, of the, the Max. Of the poppers. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be great. <laughs> we're not going to let you leave. Right? Really? Yeah. This is going to turn into a hostage situation. In all honesty, I, and I know that you guys want to do your own thing and you're successful. And Thank I'm you. I'm very proud of you guys. Thanks. Oh, wow. We talked about this when you guys were leaving. But I do think that you... Uh, both would have been great here, like full time, and maybe it wouldn't have worked from your Erica, angle. Erica tried, but I, I do think that you guys are so funny and like Thanks, quick man. that it would have been awesome. Damn, you're buttering us up up top, which I is mean, a we, pro move. I we like can this. only aspire to operate at your yeah. level, which is like you know you produce content at this superhuman rate. It's almost as if 
your professional athlete of the content game. Oh, wow. <laughs> so we got to ask you a question that a lot of athletes are getting asked these days. Are you vaxxed up? Yeah. Mm, I am okay. not. Okay. <laughs> I've done enough Hip-a-fi research. Yeah. Well, You've done your own research. I've read some studies <laughs> and uh, it's poison. Not going to do it. Yeah. Is it? Um, we're, I mean, we're jacked up to the tits on Moderna. What are your J and J? Everything. Everything. Yeah. You got J and J? I got all. I, I got, got all, five G. I got all my ass right now. Which one did you get? I got all of them. Yeah. Do I, which one did you <laughs> get? I'm Moderna. You seriously, what'd you get? I'm I a walking J&J. router. Right. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> one bad boys for life. One pump shot. J and J is is total bad boy. The life. one sick prick. Every yeah. new variant, they're like, well, just J&J get it. Is fucked. Get another. But then it comes out that they're not. Really? Yeah, we kind of are though. It depends on what studies you're reading. Yeah, you know? that's true. I also had COVID, so <laughs> I'm a survivor. Were you down bad? Uh, I was down pretty bad. Sense for, of smell, sense of taste out the have, window? Yeah, didn't have any. Diarrhea? Uh, no diarrhea. Sense okay. of smell, sense of taste, gone. Damn. Um, I got the infusion, the antibody infusion. Okay. So, um, you know, the thing that, that like saved Trump's life. The enema. Yeah, the enema. Uh, right up your <laughs> asshole. And uh, yeah, no, it's you got tr- Did you get Trump's uh, gray water? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And the chlorine. Gently I just used. Went, I just yeah. went in a pool and I just didn't get out till I finished. Drink a bunch of bleach, <laughs> done. swim a couple laps. I'm Gucci, yeah, dude. I'm right. back. Right. But yes, I'm vaxxed up J and J. It got me really sick. Did it get you sick? I was I was out of it for like two and a half days. I had COVID too, but like I almost felt worse from the J and J. Look at look at us. We're just look at us. Survivors. Such a pussy. <laughs> Confronting our trauma head on. Yeah. Wow, dude. This is uh listen, man, guys being dudes, just airing it all out. What no you, stone left on turn. Were you one of those mask guys the whole time? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, dude. I mean, I wore a mask when I felt like he's it like was I'm necessary. social distancing. I'm like, no, you have no friends. <laughs> Fuck off. I actually do <laughs> low key kind of miss like quarantine life where there was no I don't have any friends, but mm-hmm. the idea that like once every couple months when someone would actually invite me to something, right. that was eliminated. You want to be in, just to be invited and be like, I can't do it. Right. I'm not coming. Yeah. But, but you miss, I appreciate it. Do you miss mass culture outside as such a recognizable guy? Ooh, uh, yeah. No, I well, I, I don't think it. <laughs> You were protected. Your yeah, identity was. Protected. was. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I never actually thought about that. Wow. I mean, New York was typical like, famous guy. New York yeah. was like empty. Fucking. Yeah. It yeah. Was, it actually. Did you get away? Most, no, I was I was in New York. I It was the most I Hunkered liked, down. enjoyed New York was when there was like, I think New York has always been like one of those bars that's just over capacity. <laughs> yeah. So if you get like half half the people yeah. leaving. Well, I mean, oh, it is the have- city that never sleeps. That's city true. of lights. That's true. The Windy City. New York, windy baby. City, wind- <laughs> city of broad shoulders. Yeah. City of angels. <laughs> city of angels. <laughs> yeah. Does Barstool Sports have a vaccine mandate in place? Uh, no, but I would say we're probably 100 percent. Yeah. Like, I don't know anyone who doesn't have it. Because who who would you suspect is anti-vax out there on, <laughs> on the floor? Uh, if you had to point a finger in the no bullpen. There's no anti-vax. Um, there's people who probably begrudgingly got it. Okay. They didn't make a stink of it. Sure. I mean, Text. if you're truly anti-vax right now, you're just... A moron. A complete moron. But everyone here is a team player is what you're saying. Right. And also, part. I think everyone has a, uh, at least some semblance of brain in their skull. Yeah. So Te- Text must be anti-vax now or... He's not here anymore. Okay. He hasn't been here in a while. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was a he nice died, little... He died cut. of COVID. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, the, yeah, I, I, I can't imagine... Like, I've had a couple conversations with people who are, like, skeptical. And I'm like, what? What are you doing? I mean, at least the three of us are vaxxed up because this room that we're, your studio is absolutely disgusting. Yes, it is. This is a shit Probably show. has COVID in it right yeah, now. Yeah, 100%. Mm-hmm. This is where the Delta variant... This is the cradle of life. Yeah. Yep. Yep. This is the cradle of death. Yes. What's the this is the PMT variant? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> the grit variant. Yes. Yes. But yeah, the um, makes your lower lip swollen like you're dipping. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. So you guys started your Patreon and then it was like shut down right away, right? Like the uh, the COVID we got like a, we got like three months in because we started in January of 2020. Yeah. So we got a couple. But as soon as we in. were we were on this crazy trajectory yeah. and then Hockey COVID sticking. hit and everyone. Was like fuck, like everyone lost their jobs or couldn't yeah. get jobs, especially our younger audience, a lot of right. service workers. Or they're like, like, "Yo, I'm not, I'm not commuting anymore." Yeah. That's the excuse they used. Yeah, <laughs> okay, you, well, all four. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys not see any dip in listenership? Right? No, I mean, there was definitely a dip. Every every podcast dipped. Yeah, like How, every single podcast yeah. dipped because I think across. Not even talking about bars, talking about across the board. Because in, across the did you also go from 18 million listens to like. 17 and a half. Yeah, I think, you know, it's like 17, seven. Okay. Yeah, right, right, uh, but right in that was, sweet spot. But yeah, obviously, because people didn't commute and there was just less like things to talk about, except yeah. for coronavirus, which is right. a bummer. Yeah, yeah, super bummer. So they get to find the way of like, do I talk about this and bum everyone out or try to find. How can I have fun with COVID? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Let's right. let's spin zone all these deaths. We had Fauci on before it was cool. 
Really? Yeah. What we a fucking like fame whore, dude. The second week. <laughs> and everyone was fucking slapping us on the ass and being like, that's so great, so important. <laughs> oh, like, like good job. Do you yeah, remember, do you yeah, remember yeah. that? You got your ad platforming that fucking yes, 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 it fame is whore troll. <laughs> <laughs> because this is Barstool Sports, let's talk football for a second. Do okay. you think that um, all these players not getting vaxxed up is going to like really make this season volatile as a gambling man, especially? Yeah. I hope not. I mean, they really like. I don't want to go through another season where there's cancellations and stuff. I the thing about the vaccinations with football teams, I don't understand how it's not viewed as a competitive advantage because that's what it is. Like yeah. Kirk Cousins isn't vaxxed. Right. He can't he had to sit out like four practices yeah. because he was close contact with someone. I don't like in a sport that is so hyper competitive yeah. and every little edge is taken. Right. How a football I think actually some, you know, Nick Saban, I think Alabama's like ninety five percent, which there, I think the state Which of Alabama is probably 30%. Yeah, if, if that. It, it bumped up the entire state. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So he probably has framed it that way of like, if you want to practice and you want to win a title, go get vaccinated. And it's a sport. I think Chris Long had a tweet that was so perfect. He's like, I'm not going to put that poison in my body just so that I can go like bash my head against other guys. Well, do you like, think, do you think <laughs> the players are, here? do you think the players are concerned about the long-term health effects? Uh, not anyone who's done any type of, <laughs> yeah. like, who has a brain, no. Well, right. well, that's did, the, yeah, well that yeah, is literally yeah, the problem yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, was, that was the joke. Yeah, that right. was, <laughs> my bad. All right, no, it's all good, <laughs> dude. Fast. It's, we're going to warm, we're, we're just warming yeah, up, we're baby. warming up. We're not we're recording. We're stretching. We're not yeah, recording. we're not. Yeah, perfect. This is perfect. perfect. I got to see that intro. Oi! Yeah. <laughs> we're just some jocks. Podding. All right, let's run it back. It's worse the second time. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, I don't know if it could get worse, bro. I was. Kath, we talked about, I guess, text left. I guess. COVID-19 was a thing. Two equal tragedies. And Barstool, <laughs> throughout the years, right? And you've been here since fucking... Since, since jump. Inception. Yes. Since day two. Yes. Um, you have you guys, in totality, have overcome numerous obstacles and tragedies throughout the years. Oh. Are you prepared <laughs> to speak on the events of December 16th, 2019, when failing upwards was un unceremoniously jettisoned from the Barstool rocket ship. Oh, man. Kicked off the moon. You it hate to bad. see it. It was bad. Well, well, you like guys kicked you? yourself off. Yeah, yeah, true. Well, technically, we were kicked we off. We did but... fumble our own bag to some degree. It's also funny because I, Erica and Dave are so much smarter than me in a business sense. Mm -hmm. It's like shocking. Sometimes I'll sit in a meeting because, you know, I'll get to go to these meetings now uh, <laughs> because of Penn. And it's like a Make-A-Wish thing. Yeah, right. Exactly. They bring me along. They let me score a touchdown <laughs> yeah. at the end. Uh, the ringer. You know, our large adult son, <laughs> Dan. Yeah, they, they, yeah they, they, they fake tackle me. Um, no, he has, to wear the, he has to wear this helmet throughout the whole <laughs> yeah, meeting. Right, right. <laughs> but I, I like sit around them and I'm like, holy fuck, they're so smart. And I think the uh, when you guys came to me and asking for my advice. Mm -hmm. I was On some like, consigliere shit. Yeah, consigliere. I was like, oh, dude, Eric and Dave totally will give you failing up <laughs> <laughs> Great advice. And, and the rest the, is history. And then the business brains were like, uh, that's not how it works. Right. So my bad for that advice. <laughs> I mean, Thanks, to be dude. honest, though, we you were forgiven. kind of close. <laughs> we were getting there. Yeah. yeah. And Erica's email was like, hey, we were close. Like, in all honesty, we were like getting there. And she was kind of like trying to move Dave to like. Right. Dave, her. I think, was the ultimate kind of roadblock because yeah. he, he, he was on vacation. He was on vacation. Yeah, and he doesn't give up. He didn't even know right. who we are. Right, right. and right. it's also there's a precedent. Like you can't. You right, know, it's, exactly. it's tough. It's, yeah. it's a very well, if tough we, spot to be in. In an alternate universe, if failing upwards have left with the IP, call our daddy. What could have left with the IP sooner than <laughs> sooner they than they did? Left yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Or yeah. she, not they. How how do you feel when the caller daddy news got broken? You guys I mean, like, oh, it was man. awesome. There was clearly that bargaining chip of the merch, right? Basically right. being licensed to you guys. So like, you know, it, I wouldn't say it's like having your cake and eating it too for someone like Dave, but clearly we didn't have that chip to right. bargain with right. whatsoever. Right. So, but the fact that she's getting that much money that, I mean, well, how did that make you, you feel? How do you feel that day? I actually, that's a max contract. I, uh, franchise. I like I'm very happy, right? Like I'm happy in life. Were you, guys, were you guys friends? Alex and I? Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say friends. Colleagues. Uh, colleagues. That's Lovers, peers. A few conversations with her. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I, so when it happened, everyone like was reaching out to me being like, dude, this is crazy. Like, you good? And I'm like, what? <laughs> and like so many people asked me if I'm good. And I was like, wait, am I good? <laughs> yeah. You're like, damn. What the fuck? Yeah. I, I was. Good. Yes, I am good. In my I, blissful ignorance. Yeah. Everyone got in my own head. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's definitely a, a point in life where you should just be happy with what you have. I, I've reached that. Point. You're not a greedy man. No, not to that. I mean, not saying that she's greedy. She no, get no, what no. She gets. That's what she but deserves. I, I, but it would be greedy if 
her contract got announced, and then the next day I walked into Dave's office like, let's rip it up. Like, I yeah, yeah. More money. Like, that never crossed my mind. Sure, sure, sure. Did you have, do you still have people trying to approach you? Like, maybe they first they ask you, I'm good. Are you good? And then, like, but are you, like, are people still trying to poach you? No. I mean, I, so I think, like, a few years ago, yes. But I have changed my own perspective. And I never, ever considered anything seriously outside of Barstool. But people would approach me for sure. Um, but I, I'm just happy. Like, I don't, I, I never want, I never want another job. I don't want to work for another company. You know, Throwing Fits LLC. Yeah. Okay. Well, rapid, listen, expan- rapid, rapid expansion. Can we get an office? $60.1 million. <laughs> okay. Over a s- hundred years. Yeah. <laughs> Over. It's a lifetime deal. Over 60 it's million. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, if Messi can, if best, if the Messi can bounce from Barcelona, there's always, you know, yeah, that's true. No, I, there's I just, always that little fucking feeling. It is. It's been a weird feeling though, because I think the, through the process of bar stool, like when we were Kevin and I have always talked about this and this isn't breaking news, but like at the end of uh, before Chernin bought us, Kevin and I, we were never seriously thinking about leaving, but we were also frustrated in the fact that like we couldn't see ourselves just blogging 15 times right, a day right, right, right. into our 40s. And so we <laughs> now you're podcasting yeah, at your but, 40s, yeah, which is yeah, great. 15 times a day. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, so there was always that thought of like, all right, do I. Like, is there something else out there? Is there something better? Right. But then we got to a point where we got so big at Barstool that I truly believe that we are as big or bigger than almost any company that could ever approach us. Right. You know what I mean? Like any company. As an approach, individual. Yeah. But or as any, an entity of PMT. Any company, and- no, as, as a, as a, a total, like right. Barstool Sports as a platform. And as a media company, well, now you got leagues coming to fucking kiss the yeah, room. right, exactly. So you got I, bowl I, games, like that shit blows my mind. Rights. Where it's like always, like, oh well, ESPN's a big dog. Obviously, ESPN's still bigger. Been there, done that. But also, yeah, been there, done <laughs> that. But there's things that we do that are far bigger than ESPN. Sure, and I think we're more nimble. And I also there's something about just being happy where you are and happy with the people you work with that like why would you why would you ever look at something else so yeah that that right. part and you of my can brain, and you can curse and i can curse that part of my brain's been shut off for what, a what while can you want yeah why don't you write off quick? some uh fuck Ooh, yeah. that's a Damn. good one what about shit well okay uh, okay my son's cursing now oh no problem what's his favorite curse word uh he just says probably about 40 times a day he says oh shit <laughs> like in he, regards he, to what he, no he uses it correct oh he does okay, yeah, like okay. he'll drop something and be like oh shit he's smart <laughs> yeah did he wear that from mommy or daddy i think that one actually was from mom Uh-oh. so i'm off hook on that but Mrs. he has Cat. said fuck and that's me oh, yeah uh, but we've been i've been telling him to do ogs so which is very cute oh, yeah so he just dropped <laughs> you're, like, you're raising oh, him cr- you're raising him christian yeah oh geez. yeah Beautiful. um dan so what you're saying is even when you look at how far throwing fits has come in a mere one two year, and eight months, years. almost uh, two, almost the nearly two. Years. PMT LLC does not have a, a nice little ring to it. What, what do you mean? This is going out on your own. No. Okay. Absolutely with the with not. the fellas though, with the fellas, with the, with the gang. Yeah. No. No the lads. No. You like never going to happen. I like I like this. Yeah. I, I love this. And also, you get to a point too where you, I help build this. Right. So I have a tremendous amount of pride in. This. Right. And that's the, that's. Barstool in whole and PMT. Another thing that you helped build up was failing upwards. So just walk us, take us back. What was the vibe like that day, <laughs> December? <laughs> that dark 19th, day. Yeah. December 16th, yeah. 2019. Like um, our long national nightmare. So I remember. I, did you listen I, to our hot mic upload? Oh, yeah. Did you ever hear what, like the no, shit that got us in trouble? No. Okay, good. What did you guys say? James yeah. was making some jokes about stealing shit. Oh. It was jokes, though. Clearly jokes. Jokes. Yeah. Yeah. Jokes. What's in your pocket right First now? First Amendment. <laughs> stolen anything? That would actually. This, be, you uh, want to frisk that him? actually is the best end of the joke. Is you actually come back and steal? Stuff. Well, we're saying, yo, you better nail yo, everything down. Yeah. I might real. steal. I might steal that twenty-five pound dumbbell. There was also some <laughs> talk about um, we were booking um, our first post uh, failing upwards podcast, uh, which was with Ezra from Vampire Weekend. Okay, and great band. I don't know if I like what the statute of limitations are, but we probably not. That probably here, not under two years. But we were like, so like we were figuring I'd out like, like what is that. the gray area? Like, can we sneak him in here? Because we didn't have any of this very impressive equipment right. or anything, yeah. you know. Right. So uh, that was talked about, which. Yeah, again, it was embarrassing. Yeah. You it, know, it was a lot of like kind of like, okay, we might not get the IP. So what's our right. contingency plan? We were gamifying the some scenarios. potential names that we ran by the Groms. And how did it get posted? Uh just our was producer, Chef. No, Chef. Just uh, kind of let it yeah. let it fly. He manslaughtered. Yeah. The pot. What the fuck? Yeah, he, fine, he, he it's uh, it was manslaughter. 
Damn. Podicular manslaughter. So yeah, I heard the news, and um, I think the first thing I did was uh, I ran out in traffic. Cried. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. I get hit by a bus, and then that didn't work I out. I will avenge yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, no, I I was sad. Yeah. I, I I really do think you guys would have worked out here, but you know, was, were there like were there like everyone? Were there yeah. tears across the whole office? <laughs> yep. Like yeah, like half mass. Sure, <laughs> all that. <shit>. This <laughs> December, stars was, was at half mass. December 19th. December sixteenth. Yeah, the office was definitely closed that. Day. Yeah. yeah, that was probably Christmas. Right? Yeah. Well, it was, and that's what we talked about. Like it was the, it was basically everyone's gearing up for the holiday, so it was like going to be impossible to get any type of yeah. serious negotiation done at, at that point. But it was sad for us too because like Erica was the homie and really did believe in us. Yes, more so than like anybody legit in the game. I would say yes. That's I mean that's Erica and Dave. Like we let her down. Also, you we know, let her you know, down. Do you, you do know that we were. Um, in our negotiations with her, we were trying to uncouple, consciously uncouple from bars. So we weren't talking about coming in full time. Right. I know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, just saying I, what could have been. Got out, got what could have been. I do think you guys, because I know you guys were in that transition of like, we have jobs that we like or well, we don't like. Don't like. No, but we don't want to say we like them. But, but we I always thought them. like if they just said, fuck it, let's do this full time. And, and. I mean, you guys know at Barcelona, like you can literally do anything. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I always thought if you there's guys that one had, guy that just played fucking Call of Duty all day. Yeah, right. The Caller Daddy producer. Yes. Not Dude, to we met that guy. He was guy. a psycho. Yes. He's gone, right? Yes. He went with. He is gone. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yes. 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 <laughs> um. But yeah, you guys, you guys would have excelled here. But oh well. What could have been? What could yeah. Been? What could well, have been? Here's uh. You know, we're trying to excel on our own at this point, and one thing that we are slowly coming to terms with is you always had to like raise the bar, mm -hmm. right? Let's break some fucking news right here. After all these years <laughs> of Barstool, you yourself are constantly one-upping yourself successfully and in awesome ways. Yeah. No he misses. Like, he don't miss. Yeah. No, that's little sass. He does not miss. Right. He different does. different yeah. guy, but different guy. A lot of people here don't miss. That's you do not be missing. I have missed. <laughs> you had to be clear. You have missed. <laughs> failing co signing failing up. Yeah, I really hope you miss. don't <laughs> I really hope you don't miss on this next thing you're doing, which is just tell us what you have planned for the Arizona Bowl. Oh, yeah. yes. So breaking, the Arizona is this breaking news? No, uh, breaking moves. Sure, breaking news. Sure, Say breaking it. moves for the people listening right now. Yes, probably. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, um, yeah. The Arizona Bowl is going to be fucking sick. So we uh, we got a bowl. Like I've always wanted <laughs> to cop the bowl, bowl game. game. Yeah, we got a bowl game. <laughs> Did this bowl game exist before? Yes, it was it? the okay. Arizona Bowl. Um, I love who was like, the previous sponsor like Tostitos or I don't know who actually was <laughs> Doritos. I think there was a few. Okay. Um, Fritos, I Cheetos. love random bowl games. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to jump out of an airplane to sing. the. National What's the anthem. matchup? It's a Mac, right? Mac versus Mountain West. So hey, like think uh, San Diego State versus Toledo. Okay. Hold that, on. Would be that would be a <laughs> that would be dream matchup. Sure. Have you ever jumped out of an airplane before? I have. Okay. okay. Once. How was that? On your Patrick Swayze shit? Like yeah, no, it was I had a guy on my back. Um, <laughs> it was fine. Yeah. I don't know. It's scary as fuck. Like right. I'm not gonna say that. Was, it was this your idea or uh it was so I was on vacation. I was gonna go down with Erica and Dave to the Arizona Bowl. I had booked the vacation uh like months prior, so and I didn't really want to do that to my family. So <laughs> they I woke up, like just to tell you how Barstool works, I was they were on Arizona time, I was in New York, I went to sleep. 10 o'clock or something on vacation time uh woke up at six in the morning and dave's like hey we're at, at dinner right now uh would you jump out of an airplane to sing the <laughs> national anthem and i just responded yes absolutely so, and like that's a normal text to wake up to so you're not singing the national anthem while skydiving i i would like to <laughs> oh really is i it, don't know is it skydive and, land yeah hopefully it's gotta be national think, anthem? but i would like to do it would be kind of cool to do it while i'm kind of landing right just oh, like, like mid in the mic. mid midland yeah midland Right, that's when it starts. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, right. <laughs> would it not? I mean, do you think that you're putting your life on the line at all? Uh, no, not really. I mean, it would be a would real you... bummer to start the Arizona <laughs> <laughs> like, with the death imagine? of a beloved national yeah, icon. Does anyone have a spatula? Yeah. Oh. Does anyone have a spatula? Leave a smeared cat on yeah. a fifty-yard yeah. line. No, what's, what's Barstool's life insurance policy like? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I do have to make sure I get my life insurance totally squared away before that. Please uh, do. Yeah. No, I. I mean, I think it's relatively safe when you jump with another guy right i, I, I'm, I, I would imagine like air force involved i've seen way like, too many 100 percent though yeah i've seen way too many shows that are like world's scariest videos and it's like people skydiving and the right. shit doesn't open and right terrible things happen. that would be yeah. let's right, not well, even let's suck. not even manifest yeah, that that would be you. I appreciate say, you or that. you land perfectly belt out a mm -hmm. whitney houston level yep. national anthem. rendition yep. 
even rendition. though I'll be out of breath, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> that takes a lot out of you. Yeah, you're, just gonna vo- you're just going to vomit. Have you guys ever jumped out of a plane? No. No, fuck no. Should we for content? I'm not, I'm not white. It is fun. It's fun. <laughs> it's fucking fun. I don't know. It was, I mean, it's stupid. It was one of those bucket lists, like, let's just do it once. Sure. But uh, I guess I'm doing it twice. We're doing something equally, if not more scary, which is um, for content. We issued a challenge to our fans saying, yo, if this Patreon post gets 100 likes. Normally they get like eight. Our engagement on Patreon is not likes. great. Because no one How, goes. What's the check these, these days? Oh, it's publicly out there. You can. Yeah, you can I think we're, we're at 18.6K a month. Okay. At yeah, 20K, at 20K, his wife comes on the pod. Yeah. And wait, how much of that is like taken by Patreon? Uh, 9%? Less? Oh, that's not that bad. But it's actually... Or maybe you guys, less. You guys have never paid taxes. Well, we... What are you, a fucking cop, dude? <laughs> yeah. We pay all of our tax. We pay expected tax. We pay, we pay more. We go above and beyond. I don't think you pay your taxes. <laughs> we pay more than yeah, what he's he he coming off like know. a guy who doesn't pay. The way you pay. answered that was like, well, well, well we had a, we had a, a taxation snafu last yeah, year God. where I had to loan the company a personal loan of twenty eighteen thousand dollars. Considerable check. Why? Because New York City, uh, New York City, city tax taxes on top of our accountant state failed taxes. to remember that we have to pay the state and the city, which oh, is a yeah, double dip. That. And I mean, yeah. you know, Move this is why Hoboken. Cuomo resigned. Also, also, we yeah. got we also got greedy and like took out more from the account to pay ourselves that month that we should have. Right. Um, probably because it was like we're like, oh, fucking free money. Yeah, no. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I had to float. <laughs> It's quite quite a floater. This yeah. is big time, uh, like big boy problems. Now you guys yeah. got also riveting content. Right, we're now. on our yeah. Howie. Bling this is shit. the throwing fits business corner. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you know, see, I just like it. you, you go to the pen meetings and you're just like, uh, I don't know, like yeah, you're yeah. just doodling. You know, like yeah, yeah. that's us at yeah. every every banking tra- transaction, yes. basically yes. for the most part. Okay, okay. So you're doing well. That's pretty good. Well, so this Patreon post I think it's ended great. up getting yeah. pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. So what's your guys' rent? Well, what's your rent? <laughs> I mean, not. you first. I'll say my that rent. Is, if you that say is, rent. Is, that is literally is, a, that is literally a question I have. How much down does here. Uh, the Patreon take out of it? Nine percent, something like that. And th- so what? So what is it after that? I don't know if I it's actually nine. Your, I don't know. I should know, but I don't actually know. Would cover it. Got it. Really? Got it. Damn. Well, really? Your you're rent two, two income household. Yeah, two income household, two kids. But you're not a homeowner. No. Interesting. He's a homeowner. Damn. What'd you buy? What or when? Both. Uh, I said when, but whatever. A few years ago, <laughs> and then I just moved within my building. Oh, like next door, little upgrade. Tear down the walls. No, nah, I was that classic New York shit. Like there's a staircase, that, like the common staircase in the middle, so I couldn't do that. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe one day. Well, that's sick. We're, we're gonna buy the building next. Have you thought about refinancing? You go to crosscountrymortgage.com. I did see those. T- I did see those oh, yeah, TikToks. Okay. Yeah. Oh wait. What? The crosscountrymortgage.com slash barstool. Oh, I did listen to a PMT people episode. First, people, they're people first company. Wow. I you love know, that. If you kind like, like to barstool. refinance, call them up. This, yeah. this is a people first bank? Uh, Yeah. They're, they're kind of, people, people say they're the barstool of banking. Yes. Exactly. We're anti capitalists over here, though. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Oh, are you, got, you guys are on that shit, like that Rose Avatar shit? <laughs> yeah. Get yeah. yeah. the rich. Yeah. Yo, I'm on my Rose Avatar shit, yeah, dog. You are. You're yeah. like, you get, fu- let's eat Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Guillotine him. Yeah. yeah. Guillotine him. Yeah. In pu- the a, a public fucking uh, crucifixion would work, too. So, what do you think we're going to fry his ass up? Capitalism. <laughs> um, Less capitalism. No. <laughs> Barstoolism. Yeah. We are now in yeah. the throne fits politics corner. Yeah. Yes. I like this. Yeah, we're doing theory. Yes. It's we're like uh others. it's like revolution, question mark, profit. Yeah. Profit. I like it. profit. We're, we're back to streets. capitalism. Profit. Exactly. Yeah. Emotional, yeah. spiritual profit. Yeah. Yeah. All we know as far as we've gotten is blood will fucking run through the streets. Yeah. That's all that's where we're at. I actually think we we align on pretty much all these issues. Advocating today. for violence. Well, publicly. no, the capitalism is <laughs> I, I, I want capitalism, but it also is fucked. Like, yeah, all these sure. guys just got way richer. Would COVID. you kill your landlord? Uh, no. What? <laughs> why not? I, why would I do that? Because fuck blood them. That's blood why. in the streets, oh, bro. Okay, yeah, blood in the streets. Yeah, yeah. yeah kill all landlords. Yeah, yeah. What's yes. he going to kill? You heard it here first. Stop the, I'm not paying my rent anymore. <laughs> yes. Your rent, and how much is that again? Uh, I'm not going to say. Okay. Well, Enough. If, if you're not going to debase yourself, talk about your rent. Let's talk about how, so Lawrence and I, we're going to debase ourselves for content. Uh, next week, we're going to get ears pierced. Oh, that's where we were going with what? this. That's what we, yeah. That was the Patreon engagement thing. We're getting ears yeah. pierced. Okay. Yeah. What are you guys going to do? Hoops? Small, yeah, I'm going to do a small, small hoop. No, nice. you're doing a stud. No, but I, I kind of worked it out with my wife because originally she was like, if you get anything besides a stud, one, she's already like, you're an idiot. Right. Um, He's, he loves this. Uh, yeah, I, of course. I eat it up. Uh, but so that now yesterday she acquiesced a bit and I said, you know, I'm going to go hoop. So that means you should level up to like a no. dangly Barry Bonds no, cross. I'm going I'm, I'm to start, oh, with, I'm gonna start with small hoop. What about lightning ball? Ooh. Dangly lightning ball? You ever have your ears pierced? No. 
Okay. Any any body modification? No, I do want I do want to get tattoos though. Really? I think I'm too old. Do you yeah, guys have tattoos? He yeah. does. You're not too old. I well, you're I Jew. Start? Well, you're you're a Jew. Yeah. So like, I see? don't care about that. I'm not. <laughs> start out. Well, at this point, just God start. is ass. Yeah. How, how old are you? God sucks. How old are you? Six. You're thirty. Sorry start, to start. anyone. Do you guys have any like religious people that probably listen to this podcast? No. Probably not. Uh, God is ass. Is our, per- uh, is our maybe. personal. I mean, I, we are very holy men. Every now and then, I'll like be like, yeah, I, the idea of God and religion is a complete. I am not like, surprised bullshit. that PMT has religious listeners. Yeah, and we'll have people be like, "Hey, man, that's fucked up." Oh. It's like, I, you know what? You're right because you can believe whatever you want to believe. I'm a, I'm a big like, if you, you're a libertarian. That, if you think Jesus <laughs> is real, like that's good for you. That's that's good. You yeah. probably enjoy. If you that. think COVID is fake? You think Jesus is real? Right. Vaccines are vaccines poison. Do are you, poison. fam? Right. Do exactly. Start on your neck with the name, like in a nice little script of the patron saint of gambling. Okay. Yeah, uh, I probably won't do that. But do you think I could get like stool and stars right on the bicep arms? I don't know. I really want them, but I don't think. I what would you here. What, like? What do you know? Nothing. 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 Get a get a Chicago tattoo. New York. There is that New York Times. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking sick. Did you get? Did you don't it, don't one? reinforce his negative what? behavior. Why don't you get it on your arms? Uh, I'm going to start with thighs and then arms are start a few years ago. So you were in your early 30s. 30s. When you started? Yeah. yeah. So 30. This is expensive. Is yeah. It? Well, I mean, you're it's rich. Expensive. So who cares? That's also true. That's true. Yeah. It's also like you're almost par- you're almost paralyzed. That, that was a bummer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're also paralyzed by choice. Like so many a photo artists, realistic so many shops, portrait so many of your children. Okay, would be on or <laughs> or of PFT and Hank. And yeah, the, and Liam yes. and Hank Billy has Hank has a tattoo and on Billy his football of uh, our gambling goldfish, which I'm sure he doesn't regret. <laughs> Liam has a fucking hammer. Or some shit. Liam's right? tattoos are <laughs> sick. Like you actually, he actually has awesome tattoos. What's the hammer? Is that just like a, I don't know? A, he's just got cool ass tattoos. So just ask him. Yeah, yeah, I know. Consult with an expert. Yeah, but like that's the thing is, I would like to get one that doesn't mean anything, but I feel like you have to get something that means something. You don't nah. have to do anything. It that's they, true. They ultimately don't end up meaning anything. Okay, so maybe I can do it. Yeah, just do it. Just guys, get, start, really want start small. Limit. Start right small. Now. Also, you'll be surprised. Like when you get your first one, and everyone says this, you like you fucking get you get the itch, you get a taste for it. Right. And then yeah. you become so, start hanging out with those people. And then you look like that porn star with the alphabet down his leg. Oh. Owen Gray. Okay. Oh, he's, I he's a, uh, he's a favorite of yours. You love his, his you love his like, work. Yeah. Uh, his, the head of his penis is pierced actually. Oh, okay. Oh, he's got a Prince Albert. <laughs> but the piercing has been removed. So it looks like he just got bit by a rattlesnake. And this is your favorite porn star? Favorite male porn star. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'd probably go with Evan Stone. Not familiar with his work. He's got the like hook penis. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> got it. Who is two tone Malone? Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> he just has like yeah, a, a yeah. multicolored penis. Yeah, and then what was the, what's the other guy who's um <laughs> Johnny what, Sins? Johnny Sins. Johnny no, Sins. there's another famous one. James Dean. No, yeah. well, James he got Dean's problematic. He got canceled. He, oh, oh, he got canceled. Yes, very oh. wow. Well, Le- okay. Honestly, says, dude, says the guy. Says honestly, the guy going honestly, to see. I don't know if I can be seen with you anymore. Says yeah. the guy going to Louis C.K. tomorrow. Oh, you are. <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> I put money in that man's pocket. Where? Where is he? Uh, the Hulu Theater at MSG. So is he making everyone lock their phone? When I don't know. Ooh. I don't know. But it's possible. It might be like I'm assuming it's going to be a new hour. So is he f- all the way back? Well, he's doing what we do, which is like you don't need the support system right. if you have the fan base, right? right? Fuck it, yeah. right? Which like, we are on kind of partial on a, on a bigger. If you're level. a fan, yeah, of, if you're a fan yeah. of his, you knew he was playing at the Hulu Theater. Well, but he's not an a email. fan of his. He has just a, he Got sends it. out. He has a huge mailing list yeah. and just hit, hits people up. Got it. Yeah. Which, so speaking of jerking off in in front of uh, people, like what should we keep in mind <laughs> as we start to debase ourselves for content? Yeah. Do you have any tips? Oh man, I don't think. I think you just got to let yourself go. You got to just be like, just embrace. Just have zero shame. It. Yeah, it's zero shame. Deal with it later. I mean, there is definitely. I'm I'm numb to it now. I know that like. Sometimes we'll take pictures and everyone will be like, let me see that picture. And they'll ask, they'll be like, hey, you want to see the picture? I'm like, no. Well, we, I probably I mean, we like want to look shit. hot and cool. That's part of our brand as right. Oh, like, I you mean fans taking geniuses? selfies? No, no, no. Like people in the office, like if we're doing content or something, like, ooh, that's a bad angle for me. It's like all the angles. Are bad. <laughs> yeah, they're all they're, bad. They're terrible. I right. Have so many terrible pictures. You have a lot so. of good pictures. You're a handsome guy. Yeah, I need to lose some more weight. Really? Yeah. Look what's the, was, what's your what's your goal weight? That was supposed to be a layup of, oh, you've lost some weight. You look good. You've no, lost some. Now you lose more weight. You've lost now, some you've weight. You lost of losing weight, right. and you guys compliment my diet. What's your diet and workout regimen? Uh, right now, I'm just not eating uh, pretty much anything <laughs> besides <laughs> donuts. Donuts, donuts on the weekend. Saturday. Coffee, yes. Coffee, coffee. natural enema. Yeah. Have you guys been to my donut place? I don't want to say it out loud. No. Is it too worried. close to the crib where you would be? Giving no, 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 no. But it's probably close to you guys. It's in Brooklyn. Yes. What is the donut place? Can we can we bleep this? Uh, yes. Okay. 
the fuck I read for? Yeah. It, yeah. Well, because I actually don't want people because it's actually a, a there's a line outside. I think I, I know don't want the line to get longer. This is the place that used to be. It's, yes, it's the yes, new. So, I, yo, so, yo, so it's yes. really funny. I literally live right around the corner from. Okay. There. So also, you, please, please, I don't want to listen. If you want to, John Lennon, me stop talking. <laughs> Release <laughs> me. Yes. This, you just had to bleep out like twenty five. Well, have you had Jeff. that? Have you had them? They're so uh, good. No, but my friend for her birthday just treated herself, and she said she, it was overrated because you like the crazy flavors. No, those aren't crazy flavors. Uh, the chocolate and the glaze. Oh, okay. Oh, that's normal. The glaze is the best donut I've ever had. In your whole it, life. It, probably. And listen, you've done the research. Yes, probably. It's that good. Yeah. How many donuts have you had in your life? <laughs> a lot. Like thousands? <sighs> like Wilt Chamberlain shit? <laughs> <Yeah>. 20,000? <000. laughs> yeah. How, How many donuts have you had sex donuts? with? I re- when I released my autobiography, <laughs> I'd be like, here's the real n- amount of donuts I've had. You know how you arrived at that number, right? Uh, of homie of his that he was staying with in Hawaii calculated the number of women that visited Wilt over a weekend and then he extrapolated that number yeah. and over so like, it's cap. a year... A, However many years he was sexually active, he just like multiplied. <laughs> That's yeah. So that number doesn't hold up then because yeah. like a no, Monday it's definitely... versus a weekend in Hawaii. Sure. Well, it was the 60s. Yeah. He did travel through Europe with the Globetrotters. He did have the stilt between his legs. Yep. He was a handsome fella. I always wonder with that number, is that like if he if he has like four chicks at the same time, is that four? Yeah. It's for sure. Yes, but it's okay. but it's twenty thousand different women. So even if, no if you eat four donuts at the same time, does yeah. that count to the that's total? No <laughs> Let me ask you. Twenty thousand no chance. Yo, this donut was a good lay. I'm gonna put it in the fridge for next week. <laughs> Going back for seconds and thirds. Uh but yeah, uh, I love the diet. We don't need to say the name of the place and we don't need to bleep out anything. No, we don't. We, got, be, we know. We know yeah. where it is. You don't. Forty oh eight. But you'd fucking yeah. drive there? Yeah. It's like a oh, it's like a little ritual for you. Yeah, go. What do you son. what are you whipping these days? Yeah, uh, what are you pushing? A nice a nice car. You're not going to even say that. Yeah, oh, I'll like say a that. Honda yeah, Fit. Say, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have uh, I have a uh, Mercedes GL 450. That sounds fancy. Yeah, that's it's like nice. a what is that like a SUV type? Yeah, it's deal? SUV it's like six seats. It's the baby. I need G- to upgrade when it's we not the G wagon. Is yeah. it? You have a G wagon? No, no, I don't have a G wagon. I said I need. He's not, a, he's right not an asshole. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fucking dick. He's rich. He's not an asshole. It's right, a right, lease right. Anyway, come on. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. You he's gotta, renting. He's leasing. You're. Yeah. You want to be flexible. You want to be nimble. Right, exactly. If I need to disappear tomorrow, I'm out. Right. Did you? Uh, did you fucking pimp my ride it at all? Like, is there <laughs> no. like a? Is there like a gold? No. Fish? Actually, in fact, there's like a microchip uh, shortage in America for cars because of the vaccine. Yeah. yeah. Right. They're all going. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That was so fucking good. All right. Uh, so I, uh, they were like, uh, we won't have a custom one until October. What do you want and to get? Like a like, Chicago Bears wrap? I, know, I was like, like, I don't want custom. Just give me whatever the fuck you have. So it. then I went in and got it. So sure. it's like, I didn't pick anything. So no, like fucking Tokyo Drift spoilers. No. And like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I it's don't like, even know what I would custom. Like the, the fuck, colors. Yo, do it. Do the Barstool uh, Stars and Bars wrap it. Yeah, that'd be sick. That'd be no, cool. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Just a big old PMT decal in the back. Another big development at Barstool besides uh, <laughs> sponsoring your car. <laughs> Airing. Major League Baseball games. Yes. Where are we at with that? People are mad about that. Really? Really? What oh, are they well, saying? Baseball Twitter is like particularly ornery. Well, it's so. all old white nerds, right? Yeah, they don't. They Fucking do not losers. Like us. Uh, I don't know where we're at with that. I know that. I know that there's been discussions, and that's pretty much it. I I just saw. Oh, it's not finalized. It's no, no, no. Yeah, it was just a. I heard Dave said that he thought maybe MLB put that out as a trial balloon to see if there's backlash. really that's yeah. pretty fucking big brand of him. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Yeah. So and the backlash came. And sure. Came fiercely. You guys can't do anything without a backlash. Right. So and it's like, point, what are we talking about here? Isn't that backlash like ultimately part of the barstool formula? A little bit. I, I you know, I, I'm of the mindset like the barstool van talk show mm-hmm. changed my opinion on all of this. That like, I don't really, I'm happy where I'm at now. Obviously, this isn't how you grow a business. So Dave <laughs> and Eric have to think differently. Sure. <laughs> I'm very happy where <laughs> I'm at. And dream I, for, a little bigger. Darling. I don't have to jump outside of my circles because I know that people like what I do. Right. They can seek it out. And, Anytime I like go out of that, you'll get backlash. And I always feel bad for the people who get the backlash too. Like if I go on someone's show, right? Oh, like, you guys are going to get backlash for this and I'm going to feel bad. No, we want the backlash. Are you kidding yeah, me, bro? No, they hate us because they hate us. <laughs> no. Do you think you get backlash? Yo, do you know no. that of uh, every episode of uh, Failing Upwards, you were the most listened to? More than Jonah Hill. <laughs> Damn. More than, well, that's basically the only celeb yeah. we ever had on. But well, you were, that being said, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you uh, might be. Lar- large Catherine, <laughs> bigger than Francis. Uh, large bigger Catherine. Bigger than Jesus. <laughs> yeah. We've had quite a few big bangers in our year and a half. Are you going to promote 
promote this to the point where you become the number one most listened to episode of Throwing Fits of all time. So what's that, a like? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll like it. Whatever juices the algo. Maybe a comment. I'll throw a like at like two in the morning. Okay, I appreciate that. <laughs> Peak hours. Yeah, Just, no, the algorithms change. Like at least 10 yeah. people will see it after yeah. I like it. Sure. Do you think 100%. Barstool could save baseball? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Baseball's just done. Yeah, yeah it's a wrap. Uh, no, probably not. Baseball's so regional. Like, no one cares about, like, I don't, I, I, NFL and NBA, I can watch a random game. Sure. Any game. If Hockey you though? ask me to watch, like, the Royals play the Padres, the Twins, yeah, I'm like, I'm not that interested. Yeah. Unless it's playoffs. Playoffs, obviously, is different. Sure. Yeah. Or if you're there at the game drinking yeah. nine beers. Do you see yourself, though, in the booth calling a game? Is that like. Baseball? Yeah. Mm, maybe. Probably not. Football, yes. Basketball, yes. College basketball, definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, college football? College football would be awesome. Fight night? I love college You're doing football. fight night, so you're, you're going to be in yeah. the booth for that. Yeah. Baseball probably would be more uh, to like, and that's just long. You yeah. Know what I mean? it's, it's a big, it's a big does, commitment. But doesn't that lend itself best to like what you do, which is kind of like Rambling and just talking, and having, <laughs> yeah. and having conversation, yes. yeah, just saying I nothing. Yeah, just like hours entertaining. Hours. Yeah. It's, no, exactly. Like it's like just be time. a dumb piece of yeah. shit yeah. Yeah. for yeah. fucking hours Aren't on you end. Perfectly boring for baseball. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. Match made in hell, dude. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see though. It's it's crazy that we're even at these discussions at this point. Right. You're still surprised when something like this happens. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like base. Like the bowl game, maybe not because I always bowl games. You can you know. And They're, Barstool and College are like hand in hand. Well, and right? also like the Beef O'Brady's Bowl, <laughs> yeah. Gasparilla, but like those have already had weird sponsors. If those morons could get a bowl ma- game. Wisconsin yeah. won the Mayo Bowl last year. <laughs> just a lot just of Mayo? Yeah, it was the, the uh, Duke's Mayonnaise Bowl. Oh, it wasn't like the the Mayonnaise Lobby of America? No, like, no, not like the Pistachio <laughs> Bowl. No. The Cracker Ass, Mayo yeah, Ass yeah, yeah, Bowl. Yeah, yeah we Avocados it was, from It's Mexico. perfect that Wisconsin won it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Cheese but, Curds Bowl. Yes. Yeah. So I always kind of figured a bowl game would happen just because of that. But yeah, baseball definitely. One of the big four. It's a major league. It's Literally. crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Would, it, would you want to, like, in a perfect world, if Barstool partnered with the NFL, what would your involvement, what would you want it to be? I mean, I do think there's there would be something for, uh, to be said for like a gambling red zone because Ooh. red zone, they just isn't red zone already for gamblers. Though? But they don't get it <laughs> like they don't talk about it the way that you need to talk about it, where like they don't talk about spreads and over unders where as a degenerate, you mean? Yeah, yeah, like they won't flash to a game for a long time because it will be, you know, a blowout. But it's like, but the over still sure. matters. Right. So right. That's in play. Things Prop like bets. that. Yeah. And just find like yeah, prop bets and all that stuff. So, yeah, I think that would actually be uh, uh, like a killer. You'd want to. So kind of like your game. Never going to happen. As long as live. Goodell's alive, though, that's never yeah. going to happen. I don't know. I mean, I guess if we can come home. The all, what I always think the NFL I'm does, coming though, home. The NFL. <laughs> not uh, maybe not because of the Barstool Goodell thing. Paul Walker song. But, but the NFL uh, is really good at waiting for everyone else to, to do something. And then they do it and they just kick everyone's ass. Like, like the NBA uh, is welcoming betting. The NFL is kind of keeping it at a little like arm's distance. But as soon as it works with the NBA, right. they'll just fucking do it. Well, the NFL is conservative, thing. right? So they don't want to yeah. be the, the right. they don't want to be the leader. They don't want to be the pioneers. Right. But they will they will show up afterwards and then just clean up. <laughs> and I mean, gambling is at, like football is gambling, vice versa. Like mm. that's that's where everyone gambles. That's that would be a good uh good slogan. Football is, is gambling. gambling. Have you <laughs> you guys have I'm sure have gambled on a football no. game? No, Not I don't like gamble. at the extent that you do. I've put like $50 bets on like whether uh like Taco, what's his name? Taco Fall was like going to score 10 That's points. That's not or football. I know. Okay. <laughs> so but I've gambled is what I'm saying. I've gambled. So no. Didn't so no. no, no. Yeah, no. I don't know. about way yeah. of saying I don't no. know how to. Like, <laughs> we're serious guys. We don't fuck around. We don't gamble. Yeah, yeah. that's right. I don't want to uh, sure things books. only. You guys read books? Fuck no. Read books? You read books? I'm reading some books. How Every time books? I, I go over, right, and I record, there's always a new book, and it's like 10 pages in. I'm actually the same way. I like, buy Like books. LeBron James. I don't read books. <laughs> I ride books. Bu- yeah. I, I buy books. Yeah. Like, support, I just buy them all the support time. The, support the authors. Yeah, right. Sure, of course. And I just never open them. Yeah. But I buy them. Right. Someday. You, I'm an aspiring book reader. You're an, yeah. as, you're an aspiring yeah. intellectual. <laughs> like, someday, my best version of myself. Yeah. Would be to read a book, mm-hmm. but spending that money on an intellectual pursuit makes you feel good, which yeah, is oh yeah. what it's all about. Oh yeah, definitely. And, and you can like you know uh, make like have a um, an impressive bookshelf. Yeah, like right, Infinite in Jest. I've, I've yes. said Infinite Jest is is uh-huh. the dumb guys like look. I read books. Sure. Sign. Like no one's actually read it. 
Right. No, no one ever. No, ne- not one. Well, a lot of people pretending. A lot of people, but everyone pretends they read uh-huh. Infinite yeah. Jest. You fuck with sitting there. I just, you know, it's funny. I just finished it this this summer. Yeah, right. It's crazy. Right. <laughs> all, all the footnotes. Yeah, all the footnotes. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, that's honestly my favorite part of the book is the footnotes. No, obviously. but I mean, seriously, any you, reader of Infinite Jest would tell you the same thing. If you said if there was if Infinite Jest was in two million households in America, how many people genuinely have read the whole thing? Zero. Like two hundred thousand. Yeah. It's, uh, it's David Foster Wallace's his like mom. Uh, yeah. estate and. Uh, um, oh, RP yeah. dead bitch and yeah <laughs> and the woman that he slapped around was it who who played him in that movie Jason Siegel Siegel who I was gonna say Seth Rogen that's kind of close not really yeah no they're actually they are yeah. it's kind of anti they're kind of the who same. who plays Big Cat in uh, your biopic uh, I would like you to Lauren <laughs> oh easy say yeah. less dude who plays PFT. Uh, we'll yeah, put you like in touch with the James. <laughs> that was a layup. I'll, I'll, I'll put you in touch with the, uh, you know, we're repped by William Morris Endeavor. Maybe you heard of him. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys think you could play the roles of successful podcasters? No. <laughs> We try, we listen, man, we attempt it every yeah. week. We'd have to do a lot of research. We'd have to do a lot yeah, of research into acting, what goes yeah. into that. Like yeah. James Kahn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sure. Been- exactly. Joe Rogan. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So airing bowl games, airing professional sports games. Obviously, this is a, a new endeavor in the future as Barcelona continues to evolve. One thing that has remained a fucking rock, <laughs> like a Chevy Ford F-150. Uh, fuck. A Chevy Ford Chevy F- Silverado. Shelby yeah. Silverado. Chevy Silverado. Black rock. Uh, that's another ad, please. If you go to a Chevy Silverado uh, dealership, no way. Whisper PMT, <laughs> PMT, hundred dollars, you will get thrown out. Hundred dollars off, you will be escorted off the lot and a free yeah. tank of gas. <laughs> PMT that's like a rock. That's oh, real. sorry. Um, that's no, real. it's not real. No, but no. It, we, Chevy is a sponsor, but the PMT discount is not real. Gotcha, you, gotcha, gotcha. What do you get if? Oh, so there's no like code or anything? No, it's a fucking truck, dude. <laughs> Be like fifteen percent. You get an extra truck. cup holder, <laughs> and you know what? It's not a rock as much as it's an American institution. Well, speaking of American institutions, Fact. and speaking of yeah. uh, large vehicles with poor miles per gallon. <laughs> No, mine gets fine. No, 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 no. no, not, no. Not, We're not talking not, about the fucking G wagon. Not your, not your, not your G wagon. Not your made in Germany. I do car. struggle, by the way, yeah. with like talking about this stuff because I do. I'm like Dave is unapologetically rich. Sure. And obviously, I've made money, but I don't feel that different because I don't do. I think maybe having kids. You're a man of the people. Well, it just doesn't. I my life it hasn't changed that much. So, what percentage more money does he make than you? A lot. <laughs> like a lot. 50, considerable. A lot. Twenty. I don't. I don't know the number do you know how much he makes lot. no i just know that he's got a lot of money okay <laughs> or it looks like he has a lot of money he has and he, yeah no he has a lot and of perception money. is reality but he tells you yeah right. oh he yeah he lets people know right or look i'm not talking about your not made in usa car um i'm talking about the van yes the annual institution of grit week is upon us yes when are we dropping this uh tuesday, tuesday. so you'll have you'll be, I'll be on grit week you'll be doing it what are you most stoked for this year yeah can we get a little um, tease a little preview i think we will be talking to uh mitch trubisky at bill's camp really yes so that will be i'm very excited about that not josh, josh allen no, we'll talk to josh allen too right he's the boy yeah well so is yes. mitch i guess yes. right yeah that's I, like caleb's best friend right yes and it'll be good to like i think if he's down with it you know talking about like wh- how much it probably sucked the last few years, mm. being drafted in front of Mahomes, sure. and Sean Watson, and all that shit. And now he's with a winner. Yeah, now he's with the Bills. Yo, I don't know if I ever thanked you for setting me up with the Bills Mafia when I went up there. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was fucking awesome. Did you go to Pinto Ron's tailgate? Yeah. Uh, yeah. His nephew or some shit was like, yo, he DM'd me. He's like, yo. That's right. I DM that guy for you. Yeah. Oh, Look you hit him. Me. And then he hit yes, me? Yes. Fire. Damn, dude. And you are an executive producer. We got front, front row seats to the Pinto Ron show. They were making bacon <laughs> on like a- out of the bowling ball? No, that's where COVID started. Yeah. Yes, or a bowling ball that they pour shots into the and everyone holes. just hits it like the, the like the grail just all day. There's that's also disgusting. a gallon of milk, a gallon <laughs> yes. of milk, and a bag of potato chips that he's had since '92 when yes, the Bills is, first oh, last made the fucking wow. okay, sure. <laughs> Super Dude, Bowl. It's a fucking going to a Bills game and Bills Mafia. It's like going back in time. It's incredible. Yeah, there's a dude that I sent to you the video. He's like, "Fuck you, big cat! I've lost so much money based on your picks." Yep. <laughs> yeah. He's black. And you're like, you and me both, that. bro. Yeah, like, dude. I like. I, I like, yeah, him I too. hate myself. Yeah. I, I lose. As he well. was like blackout drunk. He's like, we're like, so you go to the game? He's like, nah, I got to drive back to Philadelphia. I don't, I don't have tickets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to drive God. drunk real quick. He's like, my fiance's going to fucking kill Any, me. Anything else that's happening grit week wise that is like um, new and improved for this for this week? Uh, well, okay. So if this is not going to air till Tuesday, and you promise not to say anything absolutely not. we are interviewing someone tomorrow for monday mm-hmm. uh that i'm very very excited about well you, you jim can... calhoun oh wow yeah. so you can go listen to it now uh 
after listening to the ad that is surely approaching in this episode. The rowback question? Put in code PFT, you get 20% off your rowback. <laughs> R-H-O-B-A-C. Dude, you are just rowback? fucking raking it in. What's a rowback? You, you guys got to start doing this. You bring your own ads. To What's a ro- what is a rowback, though? Well, it's, a, it's a clothing Okay. I thought you knew fashion. <laughs> I thought it was a car. <laughs> no. Uh, but yeah, you got to start bringing your own ads. Okay. I do it every time I go on any podcast. <laughs> sure. Uh, I do. Anchor. Code name. You have that millionaire. No, this is your podcast. Oh, yeah. God. The got millionaire it. grind set. Well, yeah, yo, exactly. how come, how come I'm, we're not? I'm on, on my Gary V shit. Yeah. Imagine shooting your entire family in the face. Yo, is it true that? <laughs> now what are you going to do? Make millions. <laughs> Great clip. Is it true that you're in Gary V's pickup league? I, I was. Yes. Bro, played- what's he like on the... F- What's he like? He's actually floor? not that bad. He I, as a person or as a player. Uh, I actually don't <laughs> mind him either way. I think his his social media, like we all know, it dog shit. Be, it Absolutely, could be, it could be a little much. Um, <laughs> There's no way he passes ever. He he shoots a lot, but he's got a nice shot. <laughs> oh, you know? he's wet. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so he was good. Does he ball in his uh, Gary V X K Swiss <laughs> sneakers? I got a pair of those. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah. Did you did you post on social media? No. <laughs> Thank God. I don't think I left the building with them. <laughs> <laughs> they're, in the, they're in the pile. They're somewhere in the pile as we speak. That's like I, I went to, um, I used to be repped by CAA. And uh, oh, what happened? Why'd you fire them? Yeah. It just, it didn't, whatever, didn't really work. Um, wasn't my vibe. But we went <laughs> they were like, to, don't take the Spotify deal. We went to the, we went to the uh, office. No, nice people. And the guy who was like, I'm you were repped independently? Him. Just you. Yeah. Dan I'm, Katz. I'm still friends with him and he's a good guy. Um, but it just didn't work out. Just, vibe right like just i'm a kind of laid back your vibe like guy. i said i'm happy with what i have where, sure. where are you rep now uh i have a guy in chicago who's i have been with me forever so um, like you're a uh, rich paul kind of yeah yeah um so he so anyway i went to ca and they like on the way out they gave me like Gary a tote Sanders. bag that said ca on it and like a shirt i was like why would i who yeah. would wear this <laughs> An agent. Yeah. Probably. I just threw it yeah. in the trash. <laughs> and, then, and then I realized, like, someone's going to think this is a bomb. <laughs> like, yeah, backpack in the trash. Sure. <laughs> New York City. Were there, was, was it their trash can? Was it also full no, of like, other totes? Street, okay. Was, was that, at least you had the, the common decency to wait till you were yeah, outside the out building. The street, was that trash can full of uh, CAA totes and <laughs> yeah, t shirts? <laughs> <laughs> Deposit backpacks here. Uh, it also was great because the guy was like, uh, we should go uh, to a Yankees game. Like, we'll sit front row. And I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> like, I'm not going to the Bronx. Like, Damn. It's too far. Well, Damn, too far. you are really the worst client imaginable. Yeah, I'm just like, I don't doesn't like go. free swag. Doesn't want fucking free tickets. Yeah. Fucking Yo, pointless. If you want us to, to bring our ads to another podcast, why don't you have us on Part of My Take? Oh. Or on oh. Grit Week. We could talk and be Yo, talk fit. about grit. We fucking gritted out an entire what is that career for ourselves. Anti grit. Pussies. Yeah. Oh. Damn. You're both faxed. <laughs> oh, true. true. You're only talking to non vax football yeah. players. <laughs> it's the non vax Getting core. real close. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's no restrictions when you talk to them. Yeah. Sure. Well, no, they're, that's the opposite. No, yeah. You. Yeah, what I just said. <laughs> flip that and reverse it. Whatever I said, do the exact opposite. <laughs> Put my thing down, flip it that and joke reverse I made, it. Just do the opposite. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then it'll be funny. Just rewind it, Play actually. Play backwards. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Dan, you've seen a lot of legends come and go through these hollowed halls here at Barstool. Got two of them right here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can Absolutely. we get a Mount Rushmore real quick? Since you guys invented the Mount Rushmore, we're going to the Mount purposes. Rushmore segment. We got a bunch for you. Okay, so we're just okay. Gonna, let's just right. rapid fire. Right. And I didn't, right. I didn't text you this one okay. last night because I wanted to spring okay. this on. Yeah, you. some you're okay. prepared for, and some are going to. Can we get up on you? Can we like get a, a Mount Rushmore of your most missed barstool sports fallen heroes? Yeah, most missed barstool sports fallen heroes. Who you so missed the most? Who are gone? Yes. yes. So Tyler O'Day, who just announced his resignation, he got hired by the Empire State Building. Yes. Oh, heard about Dave that? Dave is very butthurt about that. Well, I mean. Dave is right. We lost to a building. Right? <laughs> yeah. like, you can't lose people to a building. Is Dave right, gonna right. is Dave gonna buy the Empire State Building yeah. just to get this? Demol- right. Demolish yeah. it? Yeah. Big yeah. grunge, big yeah. grunge yeah. guy. <laughs> and then bring him back. Knock it down. Um, yeah. It'll be the next 9-11. <laughs> uh, Tyler. Tyler Trill Withers. Oh, shout out fucking yep. Trill. By far on my Mount Rushmore. Yep. Um Okay, you got two slots left. Yep. Now uh, is this- two slots. <laughs> <laughs> we count as one. Um You're like, okay, pass. <laughs> Chuck. 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 Shout out Chuck Carlos was Franco. he anything but stadium speaking of swag. No, I'm not wearing a stadium goods shirt, dude. Damn. Yeah. Stop sending me that. I think we're saying where I Chuck works now, I guess. Sneakers. I don't know. If, oh, my bad. No, it's that. all right. No, it's cool. Um, oh, fuck. Chuck was paid by Barstool Sports. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So he was a technically in a play. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. Right, so one three. slot left. <laughs> Who else? Who else is Tex, left? apparently. Yeah, Tex. Who else is left? Francis. <laughs> Francis. Yeah, Francis. Would be YP. There. Yeah, Francis. Francis, Francis hit us up because he wanted to get some best practices for Patreon. 
Yeah, and did you give them to him? Yeah, it was just like, be funnier, bro. What yeah. Like, what <laughs> no, we yeah, were, be we were better at your gracious. job. <laughs> Honestly, that's one of uh, those sleeper failing upwards that people really love because he got very angry. Yeah, that's right. I very, very you, angry. You guys pissed him off. You know how like um, clean canteens claim that they can't be like broken or dented? Francis proved them wrong that day. Yeah. Yes. He hucked his clean canteen Across against the, the wall. Yeah. You guys broke him. Yeah. Uh -huh. You broke Absolutely. One yeah. week later, he got fired. I remember he said he was like, can I talk? Yeah, he was pissed. <laughs> he was very pissed so off. Funny. We were like, just like, we were like prodding him to like tell jokes. And then like we were, we were heckling. We were heckling him. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Which is what you do in every yeah. But then as heckler because there's, comedian. <laughs> because there's no, because <laughs> there's no crowd. When he tried to heckle us back, we would just out heckle him. <laughs> yeah. Like he couldn't he get was, us he, crowd we, had, was, we had the higher ground. We had two of us, you know? It's amazing. Yeah. All right, so, so that's uh, Mount Rushmore. Okay. Two theater war. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, what's your Mount Rushmore of sports takes? <laughs> oh. Yeah. This is all you were prepped time? for this. All, yeah, time. all time. Wait, I didn't prep for this. We texted it. To I texted this to you. Sports no, takes either I, yours no, or it's in Mount general. Rushmore guess and then sports takes. Yeah, sports takes. Sports takes. But the, the Mount Rushmore was possessive of the guess. No, Mount Rushmore. Takes. Well, we're also going to ask okay, that. Well, but we're on sports takes currently. I don't know. I fuck. What are your like spiciest takes? Um, currently, yeah. What are, what are, what are no grit. I have not been a fan of Lamar Jackson. People don't like that. I I think he's good. Right. I don't think he's he's like, elite. Great. You don't think he's elite? Oh, right. right. And I called that correctly a couple years ago. I got Ravens fans were very mad at me all year. The year they won the most games in the in the NFL, and then they got bounced in the playoffs. Right. And I was like, but this year, is a, right? this is an MVP. This is an MVP. MVP you're talking year. About. Yeah. No, yeah. he's very good. And I'm again, but he's not elite. Right. There's a difference of like where you you know what I mean like mm -hmm. I think people were putting him on the Patrick Mahomes. There's a Aaron pecking Rogers, order clearly. Like, no, that's right. not that's not a fact. Yeah, um, your best friend Aaron Rodgers. I fucking hate that guy. <laughs> Would you want him to be a Jeopardy host? Yeah, because he he then have to quit his job in the NFL. Right. Okay, so yes, I was trying to explain this to James, and I was like, it's because you're a Bears fan, right? right. I hate it. him, and he kicks the shit out of the Bears, right? Well, every, every everyone, single everyone time. Does. So if he yeah, just left the division, personal, like he puts up like insane numbers, <laughs> yeah. he gets extra. You take it personally. Yeah, he loves. And I took that personally. <laughs> Tom Brady molesting children. Are you for or against? <laughs> dude, I dude, no, molesting his own children. I kiss right. my son on the lips all the time. Really, he's two, but right. I don't know. Well, that's because you're the goat yeah. of podcasting. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I, I, I now that I have a kid, I don't know if I uh, side with everyone who is freaked out by that. Really, you get it now. You yeah. understand. I don't know. The appeal All of right. kissing your son your on the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe Change I won't grind when he's like 10. I don't know. How right. Old is the kid? 14. <laughs> maybe I'd still do it. Yeah. Know. Who's to say, right? Yeah. We'll find out. Report back. St steroids yeah. in sports. Yes or no? Uh, I think there should be <laughs> steroids. <laughs> yes or no what? Is it well, good? I, I'll answer how I viewed this question. Yeah. Uh, I think there should be an Olymp a steroid Olympics every off. Oh, oh sure, sure, sure. Where it's sure. just how far can we push the human body mm -hmm. while destroying it? Right. right. So sure. that would be cool. Just treating treating, treating people, humans, just like playthings. Yeah. They I mean, was that like the Russian it? team in the eighties? Yeah. Right. Just or the Italian full runner this time who ran he ran like a second faster than he's ever run. Yeah. Well, in the Olympics. Another talk is pump full of bolognese. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's doing it. Got the gabagool. Italian or pervert? We started that show. That's true. Uh, yeah. Uh, on yesterday's show. Italian so what or pervert? Yeah, it's a game. You just throw out a name, Italian or pervert. <laughs> Lamar Jackson, Italian or pervert? He's probably Italian. Tom Brady, Italian, Italian or pervert. pervert? Ooh, that's a good one. The the hard one is Mike Tirico, because I think he's both. Mm. So Right. Well, I mean, at that point, you know, it's a bit redundant. Yeah, that's true. All right. Uh, Mount Rushmore of PMT guests. Okay. Um, Blake Griffin, Scott mm. Van Pelt, because mm. of like time and place when he... Right. Kind of started it. Right. Uh, Jonah Hill. Wait. Um, you guys had Jonah Hill? Yeah. Are you serious? Did you did 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 he mention For real? Wait, are you fucking with me? Wait, I Jonah Hill was on PMT? Yes. How, how was how it? did he do? He was awesome. What do you guys we talk about? Him did an he, hour with him. Did he did he talk did he mention us? No. Did you guys no. talk about okay. clothes? No. <laughs> but wait, you guys <laughs> don't you guys actually Are you fucking stuff? with us? No. You actually had Jonah Hill on? Yes. When? It was like a year ago. What was he promoting? Was he promoting? Um, no, he wasn't -90s? promoting anything. That was the thing. What the he fuck? Wanted to hang out. Yes, it was it, like, and he didn't a mention. So you're telling friend, me that Jonah Hill went on your show and he didn't mention us. us. A friend of a friend hooked us up, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm down." And so it I was love just sports. like an, an hour long conversation. You guys talk surfing, Barstool. like Kelly How Slater, and I'm. I don't. You guys are fucking with me now. No, no, we don't. Okay, we don't listen to podcasts at all. Yeah, I was just kidding. We didn't have Jonah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. What would you ask Jonah Hill if you could only ask him one question? Uh, I'd be like, you remember James and Lawrence? <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> remember doing coke with them at the Williamsburg bar? <laughs> that, that never happened. happened. <laughs> we were doing coke by ourselves. <laughs> like losers. <laughs> All right, Scott Van Pelt, uh, Blake Bortles. I'll say I'll throw Joe Buck in there because that's yeah. also a time and place. Hey, big head. Yeah. You guys talked about his hair plugs, right? How he yeah. addicted to them. Yeah, he died. was like, he, he, he had just, the same shit that Dave has. Uh, he got the he same almost, plug he plug. Lost his voice because of it. Which, how did your voice connect it to the know. top he of your head? Addicted to hair plug surgery. <laughs> but Dude, he was one of those guys that he going full wolf man. He <laughs> let us just roast him, right? And it like he's everyone hates him. I like Joe Buck. Yeah, no, I do too. I Troy like, Aikman. He, he can laugh at himself, right? Right. All right, who's that? Who's that final slot? That was it. That uh, was some Blake Bortles, like ten people. Blake. Oh, Jonah Hill wasn't real. Joe yeah. Buck, Scott Van Pelt, Scott Van Pelt, Blake Bortles. I said Blake Bortles. Multiple yeah, Blakes a year. Blake. Oh, Blake. Oh, two Blakes. Two Blakes. Damn, yeah. Two okay. Blakes. But that's again. Th- this is not like. I mean, those are really great guests, but it's also uh, stepping stones. Do you have a dream guest to have on PMT? Ooh. <sighs> I mean, Kevin Durant. Really? Yeah. Set, you want to squash the beef or you want to ignite? Actually, that was the Gary V game was I, I Instagrammed, uh, oh. storied yeah, yeah. the game. And he, the first time he slid into my DMs, he said, get this trash off my court. Damn. Slim and, Reaper slid into your DMs. Yes. And then I was like, damn. So, Does he, he doesn't fall. He follows you. I think so. Maybe. Um, Have you tried to book him? We've gotten close. Yeah. I actually interviewed him with, with A-Rod. Right, right, right. But it wasn't. The same as yeah, like, yeah. it's not the PMT treatment. How's it? How's Arod doing right now? Yeah, your boy. Uh, I think he's okay. Yeah. How often did you talk to the boss? Um, when he broke up with J Lo, I just sent sorry about the breakup, boss, <laughs> and he hearted it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, <laughs> you <dude>. good? <laughs> yeah, you good? <laughs> <laughs> nice dude. Um, Damn. yeah, and Aaron Rodgers, I'd love to have Aaron Rodgers on. Really? Would you How be combative? You? Yeah. Well. Combative is not the right word. I would not be. I'd be like, dude, what's your, what's your problem? You don't think he would win you over, though? He's like, what's your no, fucking he's weird, problem, yeah, man? Like, why are you the way you are? He sucks. <laughs> he fucking sucks. Yeah. Yo, big God guy, right? Is he? No, no maybe. I don't think so. No, he's not. He's anti. Or he's not anti God. He's agnostic. Oh, really? God. Yeah. yeah. Oh, never mind. I don't think he's. A big I think he's like guy. the only liberal in the NFL. Really? Aaron Rodgers? Pretty sure. You think so? Yeah. You mean white guy? White guy? We, yes. Jerry yeah. Jones? <laughs> Yo, are we how are we gonna like how lit do you think he's gonna get on uh, Hard Knocks? Well, he's already making no sense. Yeah, I mean, yo, you, his breakfast was like a McGriddle, a, a McGriddle that he salted, salted, he salted, and, a, gl- and a glass of milk. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> it's crazy. Maybe that's the secret. Maybe it's this thing where it's like you know you're not supposed to have too much sodium, but maybe if you like cross the precipice, yes. it's kind of like yeah. yes, it's actually yeah. like you're, back. you're like fermenting your, yes. your inside or whatever, yeah, not, preserving. Yeah, that's not big brain. That's big aorta yeah. type I'm shit. Preserving all my internal organs like old school meat. Yeah, yeah you're salting like jerky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my man's 100 percent jerky. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, Mount Rushmore fashion designers. Yeah. Oh, uh, Ralph Lauren. Yeah, nice. Uh, Vera Wang. Ooh, yeah. also wow. Person. Kate Spade, R.I.P. Yes. yes. R. I. P. Wow. Big ram. How'd you know she died? Uh, he killed her. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I mean, uh, you know. let's see. <laughs> Hugo Boss was a Nazi, right? He was. Yes. Okay, well, so, he and, outfitted the Nazis. Got yeah. it. That counts. Can yeah. you separate the artist from the art? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Can you see. separate the fashion designer from the Nazi uniform? Uh, Glenny Balls. Oh, right. Balls, Balls Beachwear. Beachwear. What's mm. the, we got a promo code for that too? Uh, no, I think it, I, that's just you have to. That's a fine priced. Yeah, like, I'm surprised you don't can't discount lo- off this list. Can't yeah. discount luxury. Yeah, you can't discount luxury. What's the best performing piece of merch that you have ever uh, pushed? Ooh, ah, oh, fuck, I don't know. The big cat um, bump. Yeah, I don't. I sold like back in the day. I sold like. A thousand bucket hats one summer. Oh, and nice! That was like when we were like, we love a, we love a bucket hat here on yeah, Throne Fits, the yeah. fashion podcast. You guys wear bucket hats? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Is a thousand units your highest? No, no, no. That because I was, was about to fucking no. That was spit big. on that. I remember it was big for the oh, okay. time. Like it was 2013. We weren't that. Oh, big. we wow. sold thousands yeah. of pairs of those shorts. That really? We gave you? Yeah, yeah. They kill. Really? A hundred percent. No cap. So, so your parents just have boxes of them at their house? No, no it's pre-order. Oh, okay. All made to order. Got it. And our so. one intern in Bushwick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be clear. He was just moving merch back and forth in Brooklyn. Is merch yeah. still a huge yeah. barstool oh, revenue yeah. driver? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Always. I mean, what's, like what's killing shows. it right now? Is it the is it the Benny Balls shit or? Uh, Glenny Balls. Glenny Balls. Yeah, Benny Balls. <laughs> beachwear. Uh, beachwear. Glenny yeah. Balls. Beachwear balls. Beachwear. Is killing it. Um, 
I think we've had some part of my take hats that have been doing really, really well. Hell yeah. So yeah, I mean, I I couldn't give you an answer because it all kind of below your pay grade. Well, no, it all washes over me. I'm like, <laughs> like the the mayo bowl we sold. A <laughs> Bathe me in the beach that. wear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, look, PMT obviously. Number one sports we were podcast looking at in the stats. world, right? C- crazy, man. Yeah, number one. You're number one football pod, number one sports pod, number 28 podcast as of yesterday overall. Oh, okay. In the United States. Wait, episode? No, just the All podcast. Time. Okay, got yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. But this is, it's, a, it's clearly a team. Like, dude. Well, no, because our episodes usually pop off around like three to five yeah. overall. That's got where it. we're at on the uh, fashion charts. Fashion, excuse me, fashion and beauty. Oh, hell yeah. Who's, Do you think who's you're gonna the get- big dog? Uh, Wild till nine, yeah. It's a, uh, YouTube, Wild till yeah. Nine? These two, and then Gal, uh, like a gal's YouTube, on the go. A YouTube cup and uh, Forever Thirty Five. You guys forever- gotta have, <laughs> you gotta have them on your show. Well, yeah, Wild Till Nine is like YouTube. Like they're like we're like we're married and we used to be crazy, but now we you know, yeah. we go to bed. We day I drink did and go what to- at vagina surgery? Yeah. Like you know, yeah. real good clickbait type shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Get a kick I got out of my it. pussy laser, and you wouldn't yeah. know, you wouldn't expect what happens next. <laughs> I got like my that. ass ate at the gay bar. It really yeah. is like stuff like that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Damn. Honestly, we should title this episode. I, Big Cat got his ass ate at the gay That's bar. Cool. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Um, <laughs> PMT is a whole team effort, right? Yes. And it's really cool again that you kind of like give shine to everyone that makes it such a thing, uh, including and especially our boy PFT. Yep. Um, what's your favorite thing about potting with PFT? Ooh. Uh, I think it's just the fact that he's like he's always thinking outside the box, so he kind of pushes that like aspect of it, like the, the galaxy weird, the weirdness of it, yeah, weirdness of it, kind of stuff. Yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. You What's guys mean? are like a yin and a yang, you would say? A little bit, maybe. Uh, I'm a little. I mean, I also You're the straight like, man. I'm kind of the parent of the whole show mm. sometimes, which but, is very scary. Yeah, but I guess you have you're responsible oh, for two children, human lives. Yes, yeah, yes. But PFT's brain is just yeah, it's, it's a beautiful mind. It is a beautiful. <laughs> mind. It absolutely is. What's your least favorite thing about potting with PFT? Ooh. Um, hmm. He never takes off his sunglasses. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, the, it is I fucking really br- don't. It is bright as shit in here. Yeah, yeah. it's bright. You, now you get it. Yeah, yeah. Hate no, it. I totally get. I it. can't stand the bright lights. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't think there's any complaints. I don't. Nothing. No, really? No. You guys, your, the bond has never been tested. Ooh. Uh, no, I mean we've got every. Everyone gets into like little fights. Like we don't. Little snips. It's never been a. It's never been like a go to bed angry fight. Uh, like we've right. gotten in. Hank, PFT, and I have been doing yeah. it for so long now. Like when we go on the road and stuff, there'll be moments where like you know everyone's kind of on edge. But sure. it's never been a fight that's like this is fucked up. I'm mad. Like nothing like that. When you're on the road, have you or PFT ever exhibited diva behavior? Mm. Uh, I think everyone has. Yeah. At some point. What is it like? I want a different room. <laughs> no, I don't know. Just. Actually, I wouldn't say diva behavior. It's just that I don't know if you guys, you guys are family on the road. Yeah, like you go on the road. If you're like, we're going to go on Grit Week. We're on the road for like five days. Mm-hmm. By the fifth day, you're sick of eating at Taco Bell and like <laughs> seeing each other's faces. But you could eat at better places. Yeah, like, yeah we you could eat at Wendy's. It's delicious, right? Yeah. Eat at Wendy's. Though. We can like, go to we'll Chick Fil A. Like Popeyes. we'll go home from Grit Week and then we'll come back on that Sunday and be refreshed. Like yeah. it, you know, it's just. It's like anything in life. You just don't want to be around people all the time. Any tips for touring or if we start yeah. going on live shows? We're kind of flirt. Well, we have a live show booked. Oh, we should say. Uh, oh. September 8th. September 8th. In the, you're you invited come? at the Bell House in Brooklyn. Okay. Yeah. How many people? We'll send a car. Uh, I think we're trying to sell. Well, I don't want to. Because they're the, very flexible with the seating. Let's just say. Uh, one of those places. Let's just say it might be two digit crowd capacity. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, yeah. All right. Very, so am I the linchpin? An, am I nine to ten? Yeah. Yeah, and okay. yeah. <laughs> an intimate depends, it depends if you like the fits. tweet or not. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's sick. Yeah, no, there's. Uh, I mean, touring. Do you guys do live shows for? We've done a couple. Yeah, because you used to do live shows with KFC Radio all the time. Yes, and we've done a couple. Pardon my take. Live shows that have gone well. Um, we'll probably do more. Hopefully, in the future. Cool. No, it's. I mean, it's. Who it's knows? Just, it's. I'm very tired overall. So yeah. there's definitely that aspect. You're not recharged from your little vacation. No, vacationing with children is not vacation. It's yeah. Like true. Trip. Yeah, it was like more work than work. I it's would a, yeah, it's a trip. That's that's what we did. Call. The fans kill you for that, like this, what? like you taking time off. Like this is probably your first vacation. No, in- that was that was uh, that was a bit. they playing into the bit because I was saying so. It was a week that the Cubs traded their entire team. Right, that Aaron Rodgers came back. Mm-hmm. So I just kept on. Anytime there was news story that I didn't want to talk about, I'm like, please respect my vacation. Right. Sure, sure, sure. So people were just playing it. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, no, I, I bet you there's probably people, fans that probably like you should take more vacation. Get the fuck out of our face. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> um, well, when you are shutting the fuck up, besides yourself, besides PFT and the whole PMT gang, 
who right now is doing your favorite work at Barstool? Yeah. Mm. Let's get some cosigns up in this bitch. Is it okay. the uh, Nick and KB? Okay. I don't know if you guys watch their stuff. They're well, fucking That's hilarious. Anus Pod? The Anus Pod. <laughs> they also have some videos. They've been doing the Rediscovering America series. With Donnie. Yes, with Donnie. Shout out Donnie. Unbelievable series. Pillheads. Go watch it. Pillheads, yep. Saw the clip on Twitter. Yep. Um, so you watch some of it. What's on the feed? Yeah. Um, I'm always a fan of my guy, Roan. Mm -hmm. um, he follows and, us on TikTok. Oh, hell yes. Oh, Roan yeah. has a new pod with Lil Sass. Yes, Lil Sass. Um, son of a boy dad. Son of a boy dad. Mm -hmm. And then Caleb, I mean, you guys see the Sunday conversations. They're oh, incredible. yeah. Killing it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And he's like trying to be better at golf or some shit. Yeah, he's. I don't know. I mean, he's just a genius because he's like, I'm going to try to be a pro golfer. And that's going to be <laughs> that's so my job. That's going to be my, my thing now. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Um, Big Cat, you mentioned that you are the parent of the podcast in a lot of ways. You also are uh, a confirmed sex haver. You've had sex. Twice. You've Twice. had sex two times. Congrats, now. by the On way. On the record. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. Do you enjoy it? Yeah. I noticed you guys got me a present when my son was born, but not when. Well, because you never I mean, don't get greedy, dude. We, we thought yeah. that our present got once got lost in the mail or something. Oh, we never yeah, saw yeah. it on social media. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Do you enjoy having sex? Uh, from time to time, yeah. Yeah. What about you? Yeah. Well, we have no no uh, no children to speak yeah. of, so we can't. I may say or may not have had sex. Yeah. Oh, no. Yes. Uh, did you? What was your first time having sex after you got married? Oh no, but cool. no no kids. We're, no kids. Uh, right, you know, hundred percent. Right, yeah, yeah. uh, did you? Uh, was one time better than the other? What? You don't know what when. You don't really? You're just, you're just you're really? just spray and pray. Yeah, you don't know <laughs> what the day. Were you in the film room studying up on Portnoy's game tapes? Uh, that's a federal crime. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just did a federal crime. Is it weird? Talk, just and talking about it. confirming the existence. Federal crime, yes. <laughs> Is it weird to watch your boss fuck? I've never done it because I don't commit federal crimes like you do. Is it's not really a criminal federal crime. It's a federal crime to to watch. To have on your computer, not yes, to, to watch. Crime. Yes. All right. Well, this is a parody pod. <laughs> <laughs> As a parody. Imagine this is what brings us down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not Tom Brady kissing his kids oh, with this. Oh, my God. As a parent, though, and a big sports guy. Yeah. Would you let your son or daughter play football? Um. Mm, yeah, probably. Really? If they really want to. I think there's, I don't know. I mean, I'm obviously only been a dad for two plus years now but i do think that something changes it switches in your brain really quickly where like you have an idea of what parenting is like it's like i'm gonna have my kids do this i'm gonna i'm gonna have my kids do whatever the fuck they want sure mm. like to you've lost control to limit, yeah. but whatever makes them happy they will do <laughs> the inmates are running the asylum yeah, yeah no but i just <laughs> the animals are running the zoo you, you literally get to a point where you're like I, i'm just happy i want him to, i want my kids to be happy yeah just don't die right and sure just right. have a happy life so would you let your son or daughter work at barstool um yeah why not all right i mean it would suck for them because they'd be like that's big cat's son or daughter yeah right. big that's, shoes to fill yeah, little cat. nepotism yeah, yeah it would suck ken yeah, griffin privilege. jr situation though where they could rise to the occasion and become even yeah. better than you. or like lebron james waiting to play with Bronny. yeah Ooh, exactly. waiting to pod with my wow. son you want to pod with your son no i actually think the first father and son ever on mic together yeah no this the, I, I think if my son tries to to podcast, I'll I'll be very upset. That's where you draw the line. Yeah, yeah Pod no. podcast. Uh, yeah, I just be like, Joe, I did this so you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> My hands so look like this. Better life. <laughs> My microphone looks like this. I went to the mines every day. <laughs> yeah, so that you could go to yeah. college. Yeah, the podcasting mines. I got yeah. pod lung. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Big cat. Let's re-enter the throwing fits business corner. Mm -hmm. okay. Just real quick. Just a quick okay. little talk about money. Mm. Yeah. You're not going to tell us how much money you make. Obviously. Correct. Is it more or less than $20 million a year? Less. <laughs> okay. How much money have you won or lost so far in all of 2021? Where have we netted out? Gambling. So lost. Gambling. Yeah. Gambling wise, like, what lot. number are we at? You're lost. in the hole. A lot. Two digits. <laughs> Three digits. Four digits. Wait. 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 Four. So, uh, honestly. Wait. Si are, you in, are you in a whole six Four digits? Four is what? A, a thousand. Five. Ten thousand. Damn. You're somewhere between five and Next six question. figures in the hole. Next question. Next question. What's the most in a single wager? Respond, uh, please gamble response with 800 gambler. <laughs> yes. <Thank you. laughs> I mean, I lose. I'm a loser. I tell people. I think, better. I think it's better to be I'm a, I'm a loser featuring a Dan Cass. Yeah. Like it, you, it, <laughs> the people who, who to promote be gambling and being like, oh, you're going to win. You're going to win. Yeah. No, no. I do it because I love it. It's enjoyment. I love having action on a game. Sometimes mm -hmm. I win. You, for you, Sometimes the I action win. is the juice. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah. So, But also be know, clear, Dan Katz is a fucking loser. Yeah, but responsible. Danny Bling over here. You really yeah. should gamble responsibly. This is how I lose. Don't <laughs> expect to be some like big sharp who's going to win all the time. 
Right. Uh, it should be something that's viewed as fun. You're a loser what's, minnow. Yes. What's the most that you've lost in a single wager? Um, and is that how gambling works? Yeah. Single wagers and shit? Like, yeah. Because you do yeah. like parlays. I and had the Gonzaga, Gonzaga. I had a lot on. Um, oh, the national championship. Yeah, that was bad. I actually bet <laughs> the Chiefs, too. That was stupid. I bet the Bills <laughs> against the Chiefs. You're a lo- again, you're a loser. <laughs> so you're, you're literally betting against yourself. <laughs> Every every step of the way, it's like all right. No matter what happens, I lose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it was, it was it was not great. What's the most you've won in a single wager? Um, I hit a I hit a uh, trifecta at Keeneland, which is horse racing. Mm-hmm. That was like a fifty dollar ticket. That was th- this isn't the most amount I've won, but it's the biggest multiplier. It's like right, a fifty dollar right. ticket that won like seven grand. Woo! Damn. That was sick. Yeah, big what, shit. What did you spend the money on? Um, gambled it all. Gambling. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Is that like, okay, when you make, like, is that what you spend most of your money on? It, the the yes. money that is, yes. you know, your, your, okay, the house money Pretty is Pretty much gambled. that and sneakers, but I don't really spend money on sneakers right. anymore. Because you can't. Because do, do you have have a gambling problem, would you say? I would say no. No. Because you have to know oh, your you stop at any time. No, I, no, I do think that like, you know, like, I have a threshold. I know right, what right. I, I know the budget that I have. I know. Does that I'm budget really, always increase? Yes. Yeah, of course. It, We're well, moving yeah, the goalposts, ladies and gentlemen. You, you know, have you, you ever called one eight hundred gambling? No, I, problem I've or whatever had, it is. There's moments where you're like, all right, I'm gonna take a break, and that's you know totally fine. Cool down for a bit. Yeah, right. Let me get my affairs in order. <laughs> <laughs> right. How much? Is there a number of like a uh, salary or net worth where once you hit that, you're like, I'm good. Like, how much money would you like to make? Mm, good question. Thank I you. Think Name your price. Number? I think there's a number, yeah. but I don't know what it is. Is huh. it like a walk away number? Uh, no, just do like a, a retirement. Like yeah, a, a retirement number. Yeah. Like a well, 10 I'm million? walk away and be like, I'm good for life. Yeah, drop I can, the mic. I can not work again. I could just sit around and gamble. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And <laughs> I, gamble I don't know what that away. number is. 10 million? Sure. Uh, I probably, probably more, right? Hun- sure. well, I mean, million. I'm fucking 36. If I hope to live to 80, that's mm. a lot of years that you have to pay for. Right? Sure. Like most people retire when they're 60. I do want to retire. That, se- Early? Not retire, but semi retire in, I don't know, five, seven years. Wow. Um, Damn. Is that, that seems soon. Yeah. Is it 40 is breathing down your neck? A I bit? say semi retire when obviously I mean I wouldn't fully retire. And again, I only want to work at Barstool, but right. there's definitely a moment that I'll have where it's like I would like to probably be. I want to go play catch better, with my son. Yeah, I have a better work life balance. Right, right, right. Uh, How's maybe, that currently, would you say? Your work life okay. balance? It's gotten better. I, right. I, most of the time, um, people probably don't realize this is breaking news. Uh, I'll breaking come to work news. from like, I don't know, 10 till four. Mm-hmm. And then I'll go home for like three or four hours, hang out with the kids, raise your kids for three hours, put, come back put here, the sun to bed, <laughs> you know, do the bath and then come back to work just so they don't forget like your face. Yeah. yeah but no, that's <laughs> important time for me. So, um, which is tough because Prime like, child rearing years. Yeah. yeah. What right. is, what does a typical day in semi retired big cats life look like? What's a Thursday? Ooh. Uh, it would be so like if I could really have my like dream yes, retirement yes. Life, Brother, yeah. Dream what's, what's manifest? School, um, I would like to either have or be they'll be in high. They'll be in high school at this point or like middle school. Well, seventh, eighth, two eighth, right eighth now. Grade. So I don't know, 10, 11. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, so high school. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Smart. They're kids. smart. They're smart. <laughs> smart kids. Uh, drop them off to school. Take after their mom. Probably take. Uh, <laughs> like I wish I, I. I would love to have a full court hoop. At home, if not, have access to it. Sure. Okay. Play some hoops. Just shoot maybe around. Get, yes. Have someone just rebound for me while <laughs> I'm <laughs> Yeah. PFT. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe take a nap. Yeah. Ooh, uh, important. Then wake up, pick up the kids, hang out with them, then gamble. Mm, all oh. night. That's so where is the where is the where is the semi? Because you're semi retired, semi working. Where's the work in there? Is it the gambling? Yeah, I guess that would be the work. Yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah, wow. there it is. Fire. The dream. Unlocked. I guess I didn't. I forgot to work. No, I actually am going to probably try to go to the NBA. Mm. So, like Caleb nice. and golf. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. Imagine. As a forty-year-old, I'm like, guys, I, I think I'm going to do this. Yeah. I'm yeah. really put my effort. You, in. Bronny, <laughs> Bron. Yeah. The big three, baby. <laughs> well, Dan, Cat, Large, Catherine, you are clearly thriving, and I think that you are definitely on that trajectory to retire in seven or eight years. Like. Hope, hopefully we're right there with you, brother. Do you mm-hmm. think I could? Yeah, of course. Yeah. But no, I'm saying my brain, Realist- like content wise, you think I would be too You would be tweeting and shit still. Oh, I yeah, thought you meant like thing. you're going to have yeah. too you much CTE. No, yeah, no, so. no, 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 no. <laughs> I, no, I, I mean, that's a real question though. Like, can you, because I think I'm going to get to that point in the where next you burn few out? years. No, not where I burn out. I'm going to get to the point in the next few years where I am getting a little older. I'm kind of the older guy. I think people still enjoy me, but I also think there's a benefit of 
stepping away before you become the tool before you lose your yeah, fastball. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. So sure. finding a way to let other people like you don't want to be Patrick Ewing on the Supersonics or, or the Magic, the Magic, the magic. Yeah, propping yeah. people up and stepping away. Player a coach, bit. I could see you kind of tapping yeah. in when you need to, but also maybe puppet Yo, some it's shit. It's hard though to mentally think about because it has been a decade of just like nonstop right. grind, grind, yes to everything kind of thing. Again, that's the grind set. Yeah, that's the grind set. Uh, become a fucking executive producer. I I tried that once. Any role, my, my fucking that once. podcast failed. <laughs> yeah, once not upwards. Never again. Not <laughs> no. upwards. No, it, just, it just failed. <laughs> yeah, just, just failed. Ceased, just failed. It <laughs> ceased to exist. Yeah. Yes. But uh, big cat, we want to offer up some constructive criticism before we get into the afters here. Okay. Um, if that's cool. Yeah. Right? yeah. Like yeah, yeah, you've please, done. Please, please, please. You know, you, you you've offered well, a lot of some things that we have to talk about. Oh sure. Well yeah. Let's uh. What happened to Chuck? Chuck's good man. He's good. He's just chilling. He's game. He's talent. He's game. Do game. Uh no. Is Barstool Gaming still a thing? Yes. Would Barstool Gaming hire Chuck? Sure. All right, there it is. Yeah. That's a verbal contract. He was twitching for us for a while, but I think now he's kind of just doing it for the love of the game, not yeah. Got it. Not for too content. much glory. You too know. much glory. You don't want to uh, spoil the purity of it. What are your thoughts on Joe Judge? He's a dickhead, bro. He's a narc. He is. He sucks. But he's real horny for brawls. Yes. Yes. <laughs> His approval rating with players has to be probably the worst of any head coach, I would Ever. imagine. Ever. Ever all time. Probably. I don't understand how guys go in to that you know, he's going to get five. I mean, what, if you had to say over to, under on the Giants going 500. Uh, well, you can't go 500 anymore. Oh, well, so, OK. Well, okay. wow. Make the 17 sports game, guy over bro. here. You see the Giants making the playoffs. Uh, I'd say under unlikely. unlikely. I would say that he's probably going to get fired. Yeah, maybe that would be a lot of coaches. In a Who do you think is going to have a better record? The Giants or the Cowboys? After, Cowboys. after oh, give, us the, the, give us the division, the runs down what, in the NFC East. I think the Washington football team will win the division. Really? They won last year. Yep. So repeat. Um, I think Cowboys, Eagles. No, nah, Cowboys, Giants, Eagles. Okay. But either way, bottom half of the division. Yes, bottom half. Bottom all right. Half. Bringing up the rear as And that was actually yeah. all I had. That's, That's it? Okay. All, all right. right. That wasn't a lot. <laughs> yeah. We talked um, about the other stuff. Yeah, yeah sure. we did. Big cat. Right. Piece of criticism. Piece of yeah, criticism yeah. for you. Yeah. yeah. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. Sit okay, back and listen. Open up your fucking ear hole. Sit back and take it. so bad right now. We're almost we're almost breaking. Um. This hope you're, a, hope, our for our morning sesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hope your hard out is actually more of a medium hard, uh, you know, push and rope hard. Yes. Um, <laughs> we just had a barbecue. Okay. You were invited. Some what? of your colleagues showed up. Wait, yeah. I was not invited. Mikey, well, it was, an open, Jordan, it was an open invite. Pretty little it was princess. An open you invite. didn't text me. It was an open invite. Well, you can we just say that we have you, been texting you for like, yeah. and I know you had a fucking other kid. We've been texting you for six months. Six months to with to no avail, with no reply, only until we're here right now. Nah, I know. I'm just it saying. Took, I said I would do it. We had to harass. At a certain time. point, at a certain point, we're like, listen, we're annoying this guy. No, you didn't text me the invite. I the again, invite I would said, not have come. Right, sure. right, without it, you could have had the fucking uh, barbecue in my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> That's how big your apartment is. The, <laughs> I would have liked the invite. Right, right. Well, now okay. we know. So okay. we get it. We get it. Yeah. So this is your invite, right? We had 350. Fucking homies show up what? to yeah, the barbecue. Big, it was a big thing, man. In the oh, park. Oh, this is the pictures I saw. Wait, you can't have a. You just we just did it. You just park. treated the park like your house. Yeah, yeah. We just okay, said come sure. to the like park. Your you we invited like people your over to the park. We dropped a pin yeah. and then posted that on social <laughs> yeah. media. Yeah. Okay. okay. No, but we had like free free uh, fruit sponsors. smash, shit. free Nyman Ranch sausages, burger a burger Fat homie tire beer. A, okay, a pizza Ever homie Coors Light, a sponsor of this show. How do we get a beer sponsor? Oh yeah. I could just give you some Coors Light right no, now. No, 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 no. No, you'd be in a brand new No, 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 no. We want a Bud My own, yes. We want a Budweiser sponsor. Nope. No, nope. no. Okay. We could be on your nope. street team. <laughs> yes, exactly. You're on my street team. You get one six. You got six. <laughs> six <or eight. laughs> we got parting team. gifts. Yeah. <laughs> but please, we paste all of 7th Avenue. Yeah. Yes. Um, yo, come to our next Throwing Fits live event where we're going to take over an entire, well, maybe this actually is a bad idea. We're going to take over an entire section at a Giants game. No. No, you can come I'm host. A, you will buy you all the beers. Yeah. yeah, no, no, on a Thursday night. No, <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe a Monday night football game. Maybe, maybe, maybe I would consider saying no after. It shouldn't on, be a on text. It shouldn't on be a text. football yeah. game. It shouldn't be a football game because he's going to be working. But maybe right. like a Yankee. Well, you don't want to go. No, to I don't want to go to the Bronx. Yeah. yeah. All right. What's What's the closest stadium you'd go to? Madison Square Garden. All right, Nick. So let's game. go. We'll go to a Billy Joel concert. Hell yeah! <laughs> That'll be. Let's fucking do that. That'll be great. All right. Um, let's rock out to some Billy bottle Joel. red bottle. Yeah. White. Yes. 
You got it. You were, you were scared, but <laughs> like you didn't have it. <laughs> Maybe I've lost my fastball. Damn, dude. Um, bottle of red, bottle of rose. Yeah, yeah what orange, is it? Moscato? Skin contact? Where did that go? <laughs> Bottle, Bottle of Coors, Coors, Coors. <laughs> Bottle of Lambrusco. Damn, those mountains do be blue. Um, <laughs> Dave, Dan. Oh, oh, oh no, damn, I'm out of here. Well, well, only because we're, we're the final uh, request that we'll make is about Dave. Can you get Dave on the pod for round two? How how'd you guys leave it with Dave? So we don't. We never <laughs> actually really talked nothing. Him. Really, we never, we never talked actually talked to him. Talked it was him. all but with Erica. Can I can uh, I can I say something? And I hope this doesn't get me in trouble. But <laughs> I I do think I, in my heart of hearts, I believe this. When he did talk about the failing upwards thing on like Barstool Radio or some shit, like the one time he mentioned it in public, because I think they talked yes. about it briefly. Yeah. yeah. I heard a little quaver in his voice. Quaver. Quiver. Quiver. Quavo. A little Quavo. A little Quavo. In his voice. Um, <laughs> Dave Portnoy, famously the fourth Migo. <laughs> the white Migo. <laughs> the Jewish Migo. Um, I heard a little quiver in his voice. Okay. A little tremble of je ne sais I quoi. these guys. Yeah. No, I think it, w- it was a little, and he did refuse. He acid reflux. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably. Good guess. <laughs> he did kind of refuse. I think he was like a little shook to kind of like sit with us at the negotiating table. Oh. Just because we had Alphas. roasted his ass so hard with ah, the scotch and soda yeah. jeans and All Saints shoes Got or whatever it. the fuck. Yeah. Um, Shopping at the airport. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll ask him. Yeah, yeah. Ask me I think just, it, could ask be, me. it could be fun as fuck. Though now, I will you, say, you, you guys do know, like what I just did was that was a lie. No, that was cap. Oh, yeah, but I'll ask. You were, were capping. Yeah, no, I'll ask him. Do you yeah. lie to your children this well? <laughs> I mean, that's, that's that's called a courteous lie. Right, right, right. right. You a, guys white, ask a white me lie. A white lie. And then I say, yeah, no problem. I'll ask yeah. him. And we, you'll never know. A white we, man lying. Yeah, that's a we, white lie. But yeah. on, on our side, like we, for us, it's water on the bridge. Right. Also, in that clip, Eddie is was trying to use us as an example. About how Dave was generous with IP because they were talking about Call oh, Daddy. Sorry, I'm, uh, talking about, I'm talking about a different. He clip. was. Comp- I'm talking about a different oh, clip. Like, oh, right, right after. Well, I've you guys twice. Right after. Yeah, happened. that doesn't. You guys are basically best friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he has a pair of shorts now, anyway, so that's yeah. that's our so all. Just keep lying to us, and we'll we'll, I'll, invite, yeah, I'll we'll invite you to stuff. I will. You, ask, you ask, ask Dave. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. I'll ask. Cool. Him. For sure. This motherfucker captain. Um, Dan, as the fourth Migo would say. Yeah. No, seriously, I'll ask him. I think I have you like what I did there. Yeah, that like, no, that really, was. Yeah. And then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give everyone a little peek behind the curtain as you guys leave today. I'm gonna be like, yo, like no bullshit. I'll ask Dave. <laughs> right, just like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no, don't worry. So I got you guys you. will yeah, really yeah, walk yeah. out of here being like, he's going to ask. Dan's him. great, man. I think, Dan's a great guy. <laughs> I think I have his cell phone number buried in my email somewhere. Like, would I, if I texted him, do you think he'd be no, like no. receptive to it? <laughs> of course <laughs> not. Try though. Yeah, as a bit. Yeah, call live on pod. Yeah, maybe he's not going to pick up. Try it. All right. I don't know. He probably gets a, a lot of. I mean, know, but again, you're, you're seriously going to ask him. Obviously, so obviously he's going to ask him. Yeah, because yeah. I love you guys. Yeah, of course. Right. <laughs> oh, that would be a, that's see, that's mean because now I don't know. <laughs> yeah. if you do. I love doing this show, Dan. Where can the kids follow? Yeah, you on what do you want to plug? Media? Great week, obviously. Nothing. No, 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 do not follow him. again. Do bigger not. than Jesus. Yes, uh, your close friend's very sweet. I will say that. Who your, your close, close friends? friends. When you're on, when you do dad mode on, oh IG. Yeah, yeah, yes, but, but yes. by the way, you guys are part we're, of that. We're close friends with uh, yeah, you Big are. Cat on you IG. Are. Ever yeah. fucking heard of them? I probably should do a a cleanse. Of yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I didn't realize you, uh, you guys. <laughs> no, I do that obviously because I I have made a choice not to post my children because I I it's weird. It's weird. you're not on your Kanye Kim K shit. Well, if they're like, it, I don't want my kids to like become like you know like 14 celebrities years old and they're like oh here's all the times you post me when i shit my pants or like <laughs> cried yeah. suck my dick dad buy me some chrome hearts yeah and it's weird like it'd also be very weird if oh, strangers said hello to them tom like, brady strangers say hello to my dog sure 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 you don't want tom brady looking at your kids right how's your dog doing by the way still alive she's great man okay nice. six six yeah she's six, six. i think yeah six how's stella yeah. she's good yeah yeah she's 10 Ooh. Yeah. Senior citizen, but yeah. still thriving. Still thriving. Still thriving. Dan, thank you for yeah, coming thanks, out to the We love it's been you. Awesome. Uh, I can't wait to ask. We're going to end. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I'm going to text him right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So he's just scrolling Twitter. He's checking his mentions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're going to end this. Are you taking a photo of us? No, I'm, I'm, I'm texting you? Dave right now. That's what you just did. Are you taking a photo, a photo that we need to approve? Um, yeah. How do we look? Yeah. All right, Chef, slap that motherfucking outro music so that we can get into the afters. It's been a long day. Without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it When I see you again We've come a long way 
from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Damn, who knew? All the planes we flew, good things we've been through. That I'll be standing right here talking to you about another path. I know we love to hit the road and laugh, but something told me that it wouldn't last. Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture. Those were the days, hard work forever pays. Now I see you in a better place. See you in a better place. Ah. Uh. Can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you gon' be with me for the last it's ride. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. I see you again. We've come a long way, yeah, a long way. from where we began. No, we started. Oh, I'll tell you all about it. See you again. Let me tell you. When I see you.